Hey guys, greetings and salutations, it's Hayden here, welcome to a, uh, well it's pretty late now, <laughs> a late night live sale this Friday, August 5th, I'm sorry I'm so late, the boys had like an impromptu like party with their friends, they were at their friend's birthday party and then it was at like this, one of those jumping places or something and then they decided that they wanted to go swimming, so they came over to the house and <laughs> like we promised the boys like a pool party and it's like literally they're gonna start school next week so today was like the last day to do it so it was a very impromptu party i think one of the boys is still here so we are in my room tonight so i apologize um for my tardiness because i was like still trying to get everything situated had everything outside and then i had to move everything in here so we are in the room we're back in the og um, live sale room, which is my bedroom, and we're sitting in front of the sofa. So I'm pretty excited to see you guys here tonight. Let me see who's in here. There's Dawn, Too Full. Hi, guys. West Coast Gal, Diana, Edie, Susan, J Sweet. There's Linda Lobster. There's Boots. Hi, guys. Terry, Jackie. Uh, who else is here? Liz. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. I'm joking. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? But thank you for joining me um, t at tonight's sale. Uh, let me... F okay. We also need a question for tonight for the giveaway, but let me show you guys what I'm giving away. Um, it's a Bagu, like, tote satchel bag. It's brand new. Um, but I think it's, like, this brand called Exile or something. It says Exile on one side, and then it has, like, this print on the other side. But it's just, like, this black black tote bag has a the top handles and then a crossbody strap right here and it's brand new it still has the tag on it so this is tonight's giveaway uh let me leave the video link for um tonight's giveaway so you can leave your uh, you can enter the giveaway on there um does anyone have any good questions for tonight's giveaway. Hi, Mary. There's Desiree. There's LN007. Hi, guys. Stacy, hello. Okay. How's the lighting? I literally only have one light because I only have one light. <laughs> I almost died trying to get it in here, too, because the, my room, like, I brought all this stuff inside first, and I was like, wait a minute, I forgot the lights. And, like... I cannot put the lights in here, like the other light, because it doesn't fit, because I put through all this stuff onto the floor. So, ooh, two full dream vacay. All right, I like that. Let's do that. Um, thank you. So tonight's question is, what is your dream vacation? So leave your answer in the comments of this video. I have it linked right here in the live chat. Um, kind of like spamming it so you guys can see it. Click on there, leave your answer in the comments of the video, and at the end of tonight's live sale, I'm going to be announcing the winner. And again, we're going to be giving away this bagu tote bag brand new i think you can remove the print too if you really want it just like a little bit of rubbing alcohol i think the print will come off but i mean it's not it just says exile on one side and then it has like this kind of like abstract pink bubble print on the other so it's pretty fun and it's this great like little um shopping bag or a uh, farmer's market bag beach bag whatever oh dan i won't forget I totally forgot. To, I was like, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send you the invoice now, so I don't forget that I didn't even send it to you. Vidrin, can you send Diana that invoice, please? Hi, Melanie. Oh, have fun watching the game. Jackie, oh yeah, Bermuda Island sounds so fun. I don't even know what my dream vacation is. Like, my dream vacation actually, like, happened because I've always wanted to go to Paris. And my family and I went to Paris, um, when was it? Like, in 2000, I want to say 11, I think, something like that. But I would love to go back. I feel like that it's still my favorite place. Or I would love to go, I actually really would love to go to... Um, is it, Iceland is the one that's green, right? Like, Greenland's the one that's, like, super icy. I think I want to go to Iceland and then see the, um, the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. I think that would be super fun. <sighs> 
South, ooh, South Africa sounds really nice too. My studio. Oh, Tracy, you're organizing your studio. Can you come over and help me organize my life? <laughs> ooh, I want to go to Switzerland too. I hear it's really nice. My mom has a friend over there and she's always like inviting us to go visit. Okay, well, here is the link again. So leave your answer in the comments of that video. And then at the end of tonight's live sale, I'm going to be announcing the winner. But with that being said, let's get started. Because I'm so sorry again to have like such a late start tonight. I was not expecting everything that was happening today. And I'm just thankful for you guys to still be here. So thank you. I'm like notoriously late. It's so bad. It's like my worst character trait is like being late. Okay, I have my notes ready. Let's start off with a bang then. Um, I want to start off with something really, really good. I think I told a couple of you guys, um, I think I told you guys in the Discord, possibly, um, that I was going to have a Loewe piece. I have one for you guys right here. It is so, so cute. So if you guys are looking for Loewe, this one is a good one. This is a pretty... Um, this is a pretty rare piece too. I feel like, in, especially in this color, I feel like it's not easily found. And it is super duper cute. Hi, Tara. Oh, Melanie, that would be so fun. <laughs> and I, you know what? It's because I was born in the Philippines. It's just like in my blood. <laughs> also, if Norma is here, Norma, it was so nice to meet you. And also tell your daughter I said hi. Okay, so our first item for the evening, I have for you guys this beautiful Loewe bunny bag. Look at this little furry tail. So the little tail is like, um, I think it's shearling. But it's um, black leather. Look at his little ears. So cute. And then his little face. He has like a little, a little nose and little whiskers and little eyeballs. Isn't it so cute? I am! I'm selling the Bunny Loewe crossbody bag. It has a crossbody strap right here. It has gold hardware. This guy is in fantastic condition. We have the little stamping right here. And there is also... I know it's going to be really hard to show, but um, the serial number is inside, like in the bottom. But this is an authentic piece. Um, and it's so, so cute. Little bunny. And, yeah. The strap is like some... Um, it was just shortened, but you know how I like the like the bags higher up. Look how cute it is, though. It's like a little crossbody. I kind of want to just, like, leave the strap as is if you want. Like, if someone purchases it, and then you can just, like, unravel it if you wanted. Because I think this is such a cute length. And you just, like, have a little bunny close to your heart. Oh, Tracy, you can definitely fit an iPhone in this guy. Let me show you. I got my... I have the largest iPhone. And fits right inside. Ah, hold on. Imagine, I'm like, it doesn't actually fit. Yeah, so it does fit inside there, and you can zip it up. So, it does fit your phone, and it's a little, like, it's a, almost a little tight, because I have a really thick case, but if you had a smaller case or no case at all, it'll just fly in there. But it is so adorable. So again, this is the size... Space for phone and space for snacks. Yes. I have, um, hold on. This is actually my snack of choice right now. Are these, <laughs> I love these things. I have to get back on these because I've been eating too many actual desserts and it is not good. But the Atkins, um, these are the birthday cake bars. So good. So birthday cake bar. I have my phone and then I can probably like, Oh, I have, like, if I have, like, a little, um, a little, like, wallet right here, and that all fits inside perfectly. Hold on, my snack is, like, stuck underneath the phone. So you kind of do have to, like, maneuver things. It got stuck in the bottom. There we go. Okay. See? So, snack, wallet, phone, all in there. Nice. And there we go. So this is our black Loewe bunny. And these guys, I think this guy retails um, right now for like 1850 
$1,850 on the Loewe website. Um, twofold, the carb count is four grams of net carb, so it's not bad. And these aren't like those tiny little bars. These are the big ones. So these are like the bigger bars. And these actually do fill you up. And they're only 190 calories. So four grams of net carbs. They're really good. So they're, they're Atkins, so they're low carb. The other ones are good too, but the birthday cake one is the one that I never get tired of. And I think is like the most tasty, at least for me. Okay, uh, how much is the bunny, Vadrian? Okay, um, let's do, okay, I'm going to do $850. $850. These normally, like the resale is usually over a thousand for these guys. Uh, so it's super duper cute. I think it's ethanol. Uh, da, 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 da. Vegetable glycerin, hydrolyzed milk proteins, calcium. I actually do not know. It doesn't say either one of those. I think they, the sugar that they use is... Um, no, it's total sugar. It says one gram of sugar. And then they use four grams of glycerin. So I think the glycerin is what they're using. It's like regular sugar. But um, yeah, so eight fifty for our little bunny. It is so stinking cute. Look at his little tail. Okay. But yeah, so this is our first item for the evening, is our little Loewe bunny bag. I honestly do not mind if no one buys him because he's so cute. I actually want the, um, the white bunny or like the shearling bunny are like, is the bunny that I really, really want in my collection. So I'm like keeping an eye out for those guys or like the yellow bunny would be cute too. <laughs> Diane, I'm sorry. Okay, so our next item. Oh, always too full. You always need to have a snack handy just in case. Because if you don't have a snack, you might like binge on something else later on. All right, our next item is going to... Oh, you know what? Let me show you guys this one. Okay, so I actually um, have repaired the Gucci bag. I know I was like telling you guys that I would do it. But um, remember this Gucci bag? This was that one. It had um, like holes in the corners of the bag. This guy has been repaired. So the canvas is in fantastic shape. All the corners are really, really good. Essentially, what ended up happening, opened up the bag, re-sewed the, um, the line of this, or, or like the... Um, Essentially, I folded it in and then re-sewed the interior so that the parts that had the holes are, like, deeper into the thing. So then that way they don't unravel anymore. So, like, all the corners are, like, new now. So, and then the interior, it has the zipper pocket right there and then that, like, cell phone pocket inside. Oh, too full! I had the elephant, remember? It was the brown one with the white stars on it. That one sold the night that I showed it, too. So, that guy was so, so cute. I kind of regret selling him, because I think I, I would have loved to keep him. But I want, um, I definitely want another elephant. I actually want, like, the really large elephant, like, from the men's collection with the top handle. That would be so, so fun. Okay, so, yeah. All the corners, again, like I said, are fixed up. It looks literally brand new. The fabric is in perfect condition now. And those holes are like sewn shut into the inside of the bag. So that's not going to affect the bag in any way. And the interior, again, like I said, nice and clean and fixed up. And now it's like in really, really good shape. The leather is in really good shape. Um, the bottom of the bag looks really good. So this is item number two. This is our brown monogram Gucci canvas. Um, shoulder bag with off-white leather trim and gold hardware. And this is going to be how much, Vadrian? Uh, 
<laughs> Hi, Odelia. I'm actually late. I was supposed to start at 8 o'clock, but I didn't. Thank you, Pauline. Um, hold on. I'm trying to remember what price I had this at. Gucci um, shoulder bag? Maybe it's Gucci canvas? I need, like, a better searching system. Gucci canvas. I feel like if the words aren't right next to each other, like, it doesn't pop up in my search. So it's, like, kind of crazy. Gucci leather. Gucci sunglasses. Gucci Sylvie sunglasses. Gucci gray. Gucci metal. Black Gucci shoulder. Oh, I still also do have the, the Gucci Sylvie. If anyone is interested in that one. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, I had it at two fifty. So that's item number two. Two is our brown monogram canvas Gucci shoulder bag with white white leather trim and gold hardware, and that one two fifty. I told you guys I would still price it at two fifty even after I fixed it. So. 250 for the bag, which I think is a really good deal because um, the condition that it is now with the size fixed up, this would probably resell for like five or more. And yeah, really, really cute. A little Gucci shoulder bag, perfect for every day. It's a nice size, fits a ton. Sarah, um, which one? Was it the brown, was it the blue one? Because I still have the blue one, if anyone's interested. Still have this guy. But I kind of want to keep him. But if anyone's interested, let me know. I guess I'll just put it up. Okay, so this is item number three. This is our blue Chanel flap bag. Chanel lamb skin flap bag with gold hardware. And this guy... Oh, Don's calling item number two. Congratulations, Don. Yay, and I got the gavel. I, <laughs> it was in my room. Congratulations, Don. You're going to love the bag. I'm so glad you got it. First sale of the evening goes to Don. Woo! Yay. Yeah, 120, yeah. Okay, Um. so our blue Chanel... Let me see if I can find it. Tote. Blue. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think the Chanel, I think I had it at twenty nine fifty, but tonight only, since I can't really remember, I'm going to do twenty seven fifty. For that blue Chanel bag, item number three, if anyone's interested um, in this guy. Uh, so that is item number three. Let me show it to you guys um, some more. So you can wear this bag as a crossbody or you can double it up as a shoulder bag. Um, here's the back. I love the color. It's kind of like this, like, like a peacock blue. And then it has a... Kind of like a like a brushed antique gold hardware, really pretty and complimentary to the color. And this is a beautiful like lamb skin. And when you open it up, there's a front pocket right here, and then the interior has a zipper pocket in the back, and then two open pockets right there. And yeah, the interior is super clean. There's no like pen marks or anything like that in the interior and the exterior is also in really really great shape the bag is so gorgeous and i feel like this blue is like one that goes with so many things and all the corners are really nice there's the bottom but yeah okay so there we go so that's the chanel that was item number three and then up next, let's go to number four. You, you guys, I got some really good stuff tonight. I'm really, really excited. Um, 
I don't even think I have everything with me because I left it like outside. Um, I also do have, where, where, where the sunglasses go that I had? These aren't all of them. Okay, I have sunglasses. I'll show you guys those in a little bit when I uncover them because they are here somewhere. But our next item, let's go on to the next one. I'm just going to pick something else instead. I was going to show you guys a pair of sunglasses. But I think I am going to do this guy right here. This one is so stinking cute. The color on this one is beautiful. Oh, agreed, Linda. I feel like that color, like that shade of blue, it's definitely, I would consider it like a neutral too. Okay, now... A beautiful green leather Michael Kors backpack. This one is so cute. It's a little mini guy. Gold hardware and in great shape. Like all the corners are really good. I love the style of the backpack too. Like the way that it's made. Like it's all like it has um, so like the seams all the way around the back of the bag. And then goes underneath. So it even has like these little leather feet on the bottom. It has a pocket here. This is a zipper pocket. At first, I thought it was like a like a pouch that you could pull out, but it's not. I was like, hey, it's not coming out. And there's also a back pocket right there as well. So you have three compartments just in the front of the bag. And what's fantastic, too, is that you can wear this bag. It's definitely a backpack, right? You can wear it as a backpack. You can pull up the strap, and then it becomes a shoulder bag. And you can even detach the straps and then add them to the sides, and it becomes a crossbody. So you can wear it a lot of different ways. Um, and then the interior, when you get into it, it just has, there's a pocket down here, and then there's a zipper pocket with a pocket behind it, like an open pocket. And it does come with like the little, it actually gives you the directions for the backpack from Michael Kors. It shows you the different ways that you can attach the strap. And then it also does come with a little care booklet as well and I don't think it comes with the yeah I don't have the original tag but the backpack is in really really good condition honestly it looks like new and this is our next one this is item number four so this is our green Michael Kors mini backpack and this is how much fade rain Okay, we're going to do this guy for 85 Again, it's in like new condition. Beautiful, beautiful grass green color. I feel like it's so rare to find this shade of green. I feel like it's pretty rare to find green bags in general. But like this shade, it's like very, it's very close to the Bottega Veneta green. Of like that Bottega Veneta green color. I think it's so, so pretty. So this is uh, item number four, right? Yeah. So this is guy number four, our Michael Kors mini backpack. Okay, let's go to number five up next. And it's going to be, let's do this guy. So this is a rag and bone crossbody bag. It's a black pebbled leather. And it also does have um, black hardware and gunmetal colored hardware. So the hardware that's attached to the bag is black. And then the crossbody strap, like the chain part, is in a gunmetal color. And then it does have a leather piece at the very end, so then when you're wearing a crossbody, this is really nice on your shoulder. It also has like this cool buckle detail. Karen, um, were you calling item number four? Just wanna check to see which one, uh, which item you're calling. And then there is the lock right here. So it pops up like that. It does have some color loss um, on the hardware because it's black, so. Um, black hardware, I don't know why it always chips because it has a coating on it, so like the color does eventually come off. But I feel like with rag and bone bags, they kind of look more distressed and like worn in, so I feel like that looks really cool. Oh, Karen's calling item number four! Congratulations, Karen! Yay! All right, congratulations! Karen, is this your first purchase? If it is, um, just make sure to send me an email and then we'll send you that invoice, okay? But yeah, your congratulations. The, that backpack is beautiful. The color is stunning. 
I'm so excited for you to get it. Okay, so, um, oh, also there is a back pocket right there. It has a little magnetic snap. And then when you open up this guy right here, um, you do have a front pocket. And then what's cool, too, is that the interior, it has one pocket and it has it's some white leather. And then it just has, like, the rag and bone um, embossed on there, um, New York. And then it has the little serial number is, like, embossed on there as well. And it just has black fabric lining inside. Uh, beautiful, beautiful bag. I think it's so, so cute. It does also fit your phone. So your phone will fit inside of here. You can even lay it down as well. So that fits in perfectly. Oh, perfect, Karen. So then we do have your info. Yay! And here we go. Like I said, you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can extend it as a crossbody as well. And that's item number five. This is our black rag and bone uh, crossbody flap bag with black and gunmetal hardware. And this is gonna be how much speed room? Okay, let's do this guy for just $75. $75 for this rag and bone. It's in great pre-left condition. Um, it's a cute, cute size too. Like it's, it's small, but it packs a punch. And I love the shape and silhouette of the bag. I do love like a little squarish bag. It's so fun. All right. Hi, Gem Drops. How's it going? Okay, let me set these guys on this side because these two items sold. So that's our rag and bone bag. Uh, up next, let's do. Oh, Brina! Hi, Brina. How's it going? Also, hi, Jag, if you're there. But congratulations, Brina. Yay! All right, Brina. Da, da, da. Okay. Item number six is up next. And I have for you guys, let us do. I'm so glad you guys like the backpack. Oh, okay. This one is really, really cute. This is a vintage Kate Spade shoulder bag, and uh, this is made, this, I believe it's made in Italy. Let me check to make sure. Um, yes, okay, so this is a vintage Kate Spade bag made in Italy. It is made of, um, this is a, the like printed calf hair in like this leopard print. It's so fun. Um, the little shoulder straps, you can carry it as a little shoulder bag if you wanted. And you can even add, uh, like, a crossbody strap to this if you wanted. You can add them to the little rings on the side. Um, the bag is in pretty good shape considering it is vintage. It's probably older than me. But it does have very slight rubbing on the corners. But it's not, like, too noticeable, especially because the print is still visible. So um, that's still there. And then there is also a little bit of balding around the top where the zipper meets. But there is still fur there. Um, but just know that there is a little bit of like fur loss along the zipper and this is a leather trim with the leather, the leather handle, leather zipper pull, and the interior is in this red fabric. And then it just has one interior zipper pocket and sorry, this is a little linty on the inside, but there's no other like marks or anything inside. It's nice and clean. It's so cute. I do love the little strap. Also, it does have... Kate Spade, New York in gold right there. It's just embossed or um, printed on. But yeah, look at that. So cute. This is item number six. This is our vintage Kate Spade made in Italy. Um, leopard printed calf hair. Um, shoulder bag with gold hardware. And black leather trim. Okay, and we're just going to do this guy for... We're going to do 50 for this guy. It's in really great vintage condition. Item number six. And it is like a... It's calf hair. It's super soft. And there's the bottom. I don't think I showed you guys the bottom. Yeah. Hi, Linda. How's it going? All right. Up next for an item number seven. 
We were already on item number seven? Jeez Louise. Okay. Right, Claire, me too. You think it's a worthy guys want to buy a lot of I think as long as you like it, it'll be a good investment. Um, but I know like Louboutin, the handbags, like the re if you're like looking for like the resale value, um, unless you're gonna get it like at a really, really good deal, um, like Louboutin handbags and stuff, they like the they don't really sell as well, like the resale value isn't as good as the shoes are. So, um, yeah. But I feel like anything, like as long as you love it, I think it's a good investment. As long as it makes you happy. But if you're thinking just like in the future, if you're gonna resell it and wanna keep its value, Unless you're going to get it, like, at a really good deal. Okay, up next. Um, well, I actually have a couple backpacks tonight, but I don't want to do another backpack yet. So let's do this. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. This one is so stinking cute. Okay, are you guys ready for this one? This guy is... A beautiful coach. Uh, I, th this is, I think this is the T Rose collection. Um, flap cross body bag. And it is in this beautiful, like, brown leather. And it kind of has, like, that um, almost like an ombre effect. So it's, like, lighter inside. And then it gets a little darker as it gets to the edges. So, like, the edging around the top flap and like the bottom like it's all like a little bit darker so it kind of like has a gradient i don't know if it show oh i think it shows good at this angle do you see that but it's beautiful the bag is in like new condition i love this hardware with the t lock or the t lock with the ro with a rose or t flower lock <laughs> my brain is like not working and it's in brass and then black metal it does also have the little um what is that called? The little hang tag right there. There's a back pocket. Isn't it, Diana? And the strap, like the chain strap, it does also have leather woven through, which is nice. And this is convertible. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody as well. When you open it up, you have a little pocket right here in the front. This has a magnetic flap, which is great. And then it has a pocket right there where the coated canvas is. And then behind it is like another compartment. So lots of pockets already. And then when you get into the main compartment of the bag, there's a zipper pocket and there's another open pocket behind it. So you have um, lots of space to store things. It also does have the coach care booklet inside of there. Uh, and that is it. But the bag, like I said, is in like new condition. White doctor. <laughs> Mindy, that's awesome though. Agreed, Eclair. Personal style is the best style, yes. Okay, so there we go. This is item. Oh, right, Tufel? It's a really pretty, like, color for the interior. Okay. So this is the Coach Parker flap bag in brown leather and brown coated canvas with T-Rose lock. And this guy is going to be how much for you, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for 140 Again, like I said, this is in like new condition as well. It's in great, great shape. Here's the bottom. All the corners are fantastic. All the glazing is beautiful. And looks like, oh, looks like Gem Drops is calling it. Congratulations, Gem Drops. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations. Such a pretty bag. Yay. Okay, up next, we're on item number eight. Set that guy over there. 
Let us do. Well, I have so many fun bags. I like. I almost forgot about all these bags that I got because it's been like a week <laughs> since I got them, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I got this. So then, ah, okay. Well, this one is so so good. I hope you guys are excited. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, up next. This one is a good one. This is a Kate Spade, like a picnic basket, like kind of bag. Um, the leather is navy. So top handle, the crossbody strap is removable and adjustable as well. Um, yeah, I think it's showing up navy on camera. I'm wearing black. So you can see that there's like, you can see that it's like a deep navy color. Um, it has the gold hardware right here with the black or the navy enamel inside and this is a new piece this is a new style um that has recently come out it says case paid on the back and it has two little studs right there and the top flap is magnetic oh i, sh I forgot it. that was like anticlimactic i was gonna be dramatic and be like look at the interior Boo! like look at how pretty the inside is so that's a printed coated canvas i believe with this really pretty geometric floral print in red pink and navy isn't that gorgeous and yes your phone should fit there's my phone inside of there um though it doesn't actually close all the way up so if you had a smaller phone like the mini it will fit but you can still kind of like wear it like this but it will be kind of flappy so i probably wouldn't put my large phone inside of here because it might fall out so just know your large phone will not fit inside of here and close properly okay But yeah, it's really, really pretty. Um, the natural fiber is in pretty good shape. And this isn't like a mark or anything. It's just like a darker piece of like the caning or whatever. You know how that just happens naturally. So yeah, that's just the little, just ran the random dark spot with the um, caning that they use or whatever this like the woody stuff is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my brain is not working. It definitely is a party on the inside. Exactly too full. That's what pockets are for. All right, so this is item number eight. This is our um, Kate Spade picnic, or hmm, what would we call it? Basket bag with navy leather trim and gold hardware. And this guy's going to be how much are you doing? And this guy is actually the resale. Like, I saw... Um, Resell for a couple hundred, like, and then someone else had it for like four hundred or something. It was crazy, but it's so so cute. And Vadrian, how how much are we gonna do this guy for? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for one hundred and ten. Again, this is in great shape. There's also the bottom right there, and this is like hard. It's not like the soft natural fiber, so this isn't like gonna bend or anything. It really feels like a basket. So cute. And then like crossbody kind of sits like that. Okay, so that was item number eight. And let's continue to number nine. Ah! Oh my gosh, I almost deleted all my notes. <laughs> That was a hot mess. I got scared. <laughs> okay, number nine is up next. Um, <laughs> Claire. Teens are... Teens. You know how it is. Just like when I tell Kate anything, he's always like, Ugh, Uncle Cooge. That is, like, so wrong. And our next item is going to be item number ten. I have iPhone case handle. Oh, that's perfect. <gasps> you know what? I actually want to get one of those like cell phone cases that has like a lanyard thing that you wear around your neck. I think, yeah, I, I think I'm going to get one of those because I feel like it would be so much easier because I hate like taking my phone in and out of my pocket. I feel like it's just so intense. Okay. Uh, number nine is going to be, <gasps> oh, this one is so cute. 
<gasps> Paisley, I am on the hunt for more. I do not have any more at the moment. I had one last week, but that one, that one sold. And yeah, I'm so sorry. But I will be, I, I, I am still on the hunt for them. Um, I love those tabby bags. So I will hopefully find one very soon. I am going to go um, sourcing this weekend. So hopefully tomorrow, maybe cross our fingers that I find one. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow night, be here at 10. Hopefully you find something. Uh, up next, this guy is, wait, what brand is this? Vince? Oh yeah, okay. So up next, this is a Vince, um, little handbag. And this one is so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Loewe puzzle bag. So it's a black smooth leather for the body and the handle. And then it has, uh, cream stitching. And then the little wings on the sides are a green suede. There's the bottom right there. So you can wear it like this with the little um, wings out. Or you can tuck the wings inside and then just carry it like this. It's super, super cute. Um, in the inside, it just has cream, natural fabric, cotton lining. It has just one interior pocket. And... It comes with a little Vince card, and it also comes with the original uh, Vince. Right? It does look like the Celine Phantom also. Um, or like the luggage, right? Uh, it does it come with this original Vince tag as well, and this bag retails for $395. But the bag is just a top handle. It doesn't have, like, um, a crossbody strap, and it doesn't have anywhere to put a crossbody strap. So just know... That this is just purely like a little handbag. You can wear it in the crook of your arm like that or just in your hand. Okay, so this is number nine. And this is our black leather Vince um, handbag with green suede um, wings. And this guy's how much, Vedrine? Hi, Shoe Diva. How's it going? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $80, and that is item number 9. Again, this bag did retail for $395, and it's in, like, new condition. It's just a little squished, <laughs> but it'll, it'll even itself out. I just had it inside the bag. All right, up next, we're on item number 10. Oh, Linda, is it really your son and your husband? That's so cool. Oh, there's a Bitcoin thing. I already banned it. <laughs> Only I can spam this. <laughs> okay, number 10 is up next. Um, all right. Okay, up next, this guy is a cutie. This is a... Any Roth... Oh, Sophia! I don't have any Rothy's bags. I do have um, some shoes. Were you interested in shoes? What size are you? I might have a pair of shoes, but that... Um, no handbags, no Rothy's bags tonight, unfortunately. Uh, up next, this is a Kate Spade little... I would call it like a phone bag, but it's just like a little crossbody bag. So it's in black pebbled leather, um, and then it has gold hardware. And this is like Kate Spade right there. Uh, there is a nice back pocket right here. So you can put like change and stuff. And this guy opens up and has three built-in card slots inside of there. And your phone will fit inside and I have like all my like my case pop socket and there's still like a ton of room to spare you have your built-in card slots and then you have your back zipper pocket so there's lots of compartments and stuff for you to use and the crossbody strap is great it's black and white uh like a black and white nylon-y fabric and it is adjustable and it is removable as well I actually really like this strap. Like, this is, like, a fun, sporty strap. You can use it on other things. What's great, too, it has a little clip right here. So you can put, like, a cute charm or, like, a change purse thing on there. 
and this is how it looks like crossbody. It's so, so cute. And what's great too is that you can adjust the strap like all the way, like as short as you want. And then it'll be like a cool like body bag as well if you wanted to wear as a body bag and not just like as a crossbody. So the versatility in the strap is fantastic. This is our black Kate Spade uh, phone crossbody bag with black and white uh, fabric strap and cold hardware. And this is how much feed rain? Okay, we're gonna do 70 for this guy. And this is in like new condition and really, really, really cute. This is also a newer style as well. It has the newer, it has like the newer fabric print lining inside. Oh, that's awesome, Diana. I'm so glad. Yay. Those sandals are so cute, right? They were like in such good shape. All right, so that was item number 10 is our black Kate Spade phone bag. There we go. I wish it was larger too, Odelia. That's, that bag style is so, so cute. All right, 11. Lucky number 11. Let's do... Okay, we'll do another Kate Spade. And it is this Kate Spade... Uh, it's like a beige colored leather and this is a new this is a newer style wallet too it has the new hardware right there there's a back pocket right here it also does have Kate's can you see the Kate Spade it's um, gold leafed onto there and when you open it up it's really really fun are you ready one two boom! it's this really fun like bubblegum pink color on the inside it's nice and clean in there there is a little bit yeah, there's a little bit of darkening inside the change pocket right there. You can see at the very, very bottom. But other than that, though, like, the inside is in really great shape. Lots and lots of card slots, lots of compartments. And it has gold hardware, and that just zips around like that. But I like this. Um, I like their new, like, hardware style. I think it's really cute. So this is item number 11. This is our beige... A uh, Kate Spade leather wallet with gold hardware and oh, I spelled hardware wrong. Hardware and bubble gum pink interior. And this guy's in pretty good shape. The only thing is there's a little bit of darkening. I haven't tried to clean it out. I think I might be able to lighten it up or remove it all the way. But just know that there might be a little bit of darkening on the corners. Do you see it right there? There's like a little bit of like darkening on the fabric of the zipper. Um, I'm pretty sure I can clean most of it, if not all of it off. But just know that there might be a little bit of darkening right there um, if you get the bag, okay? Or the wallet. And this is how much feed rain? Okay, we're going to do 45 for this guy. Um, other than that, though, like on the zipper, like the zipper thing... Um, the rest of the wallet is in really, really great shape. The leather is really good, and the interior is good. Oh, also, it has the some of the darkening inside that zipper pocket where the change is. But such a beautiful wallet. It's a good neutral. This will go with anything. And, yeah. All right, that's item number 11. Up uh, next. Oh, this one is so cute. I feel like someone wanted this. I don't remember who it was because I had one a long time ago. And I don't know. I think it might be like Mama Sheila or like Mama Miss Lang wanted this. I don't remember. I don't think I saw either one of them in here though. I think, yeah. But um, this is a Rebecca Minkoff um, Sagittarius zipper um, wallet coin or pouch. It also does have the little key thing right here. So you can have the key thing popping out when you close it or... Um, when you put your keys inside your bag, you can put that inside of here, zip it up, and it's not going to scratch the interior of your bag. It's in this beautiful cobalt blue leather. It has Sagittarius on there in silver, and then on the back it just says Rebecca Minkoff, um, in silver. Marjorie is calling item number 11. Congratulations, Marjorie. Um, that one is so, so cute. Congrats. All right. 
So this guy is number 12. And this is our blue Rebecca Minkoff Aquarius. Ooh, Brina, I will keep a lookout for the Libra one. Aquarius um, coin key pouch with silver hardware. And how much is this uh, little pouch, Fedrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for 35 It's in pretty much like new condition. Um, the only thing is it has like a little indentation right here on the back, but I think it was just from when I had it in the bag because I don't remember seeing that little indent before. I'm pretty sure it'll just come out um, naturally. But yeah. Oh, the inside also does have, it has like one little pocket, like one interior pocket inside of there, but it just has a black and white lining and the inside is super clean. No, yeah. Oh, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, Cancer, Libra. Taurus. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to look for any of these guys. <laughs> I think I had another one before. I think I had like a... I don't remember which one it was. I know I had a different one that was um, other than Sagittarius. But I remember that... I remember specifically that I had a Sagittarius one before that I sold. And Mar... Oh, Marjorie's calling number 12 as well. Congratulations. Woo! I, yes, Anthony, I said Sagittarius. <laughs> but congrats, Marjorie. Okay, item number 13. It is Sagittarius. Did I say Aquarius? Yeah, it says Sagittarius on there. Sorry, I don't know if I said Aquarius by accident. Oh, right. Oh, that, oh they're back. That is crazy. Okay, look. All right, 13 is up next. Ooh, lucky number 13. It's got to be a good one. Uh, what are we going to do for number 13? <laughs> Not me, like, looking around. We need two Virgos. Oh, I know, Tracy. I'm, I wish, like, I can't always get them all, like, that fast. Cause I don't notice them or like they do it while I'm sleeping and I wake up and I'm like, Whoa, what is all this stuff that is happening? Okay. Up next. Let's do, let's do this guy. Okay. Lucky number 13 is going to be a beautiful piece. Hold on. I just have a bunch of stuff inside of it. that I need to take out. Okay. Are you guys ready for this one? Because this one is so, 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 so pretty. And for our next item, lucky number 13. I was on a gospel live chat and there were waters. Oh my gosh, that is crazy gem drops. I hate those things. Um, do I have any... What were those pink and blue bags? Oh, I'll show you those in a little... I'll show those in a little bit. But this one is a blue bag too. But this is a this is a large long shop tote bag. And these I think these were like special edition. These came in blue and then the other color was red. So this is a printed canvas. It's beautiful. I love the print. It is gorgeous. And then it has, I believe, black. Hold on. I need to figure out what color this is. Okay, it's a dark, dark navy. Yeah. So this is a dark navy leather trim uh, for the handles and the trim around the top. And then right here where the um, bamboo, metal bamboo piece is. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Dawn. And then the bottom is also in leather as well. And the print also goes onto the back. <laughs> too full and this is such a good size this is um comparable to like the louis vuitton never full like gm it I, it might actually be a little bit bigger because i feel like this is really wide i think it actually might be wider but not as tall but here it is on the shoulder it is such a cool size it also does have if you like of course like the bag is so big so it does have the little um, snaps on the sides that you can do up. So 
So that way the bag will become a little bit smaller. I know that sometimes like that size could be like really intense with the, with the wings out. So it's a little bit smaller now. And it gives this like a new shape as well, which I really like. It's like two bags in one. And then when you carry it on, when you carry it with it kind of closed up like that, that's how it looks. The straps do sit really nicely on your arm and they are like a good length. So you can carry it like that. Like It's not like a tight fit. And then this guy comes undone. There is also a magnetic snap up here, so you don't always have to do this up. Um, it's not like totally necessary, but you have like a magnetic snap right here at the top. And the interior is in this beautiful blue lining. And it does have, it has um, zippers on both sides, like large zipper pockets. And then it has two open pockets underneath each of the zippers. That's on both sides. So it has four open pockets and then two zipper pockets on the interior. And this bag is in really great shape. It's so, so pretty. No, it doesn't zip across the top boots, unfortunately. It just has the little magnetic snap and it does um, snap on the sides. I think the reason for the strap drop not being that high is because it doesn't have a zipper. So then like when you're carrying it like on your shoulder, especially when it's um, fastened up, like no one can get their hands into it because it's essentially closed because it's like so close to you. So yeah, so this is item number 13. This is our blue Longchamp printed canvas and leather trim tote bag. And um, the resale for this is it's actually kind of crazy. I think it's around like 450, 500. Like these, um, were like special edition bags. So they are, I think like people collect these, I think like this, like the special edition long chumps. Um, so this is item number 13 and it's how much Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this guy uh, two, let's do two fifth, no, let's do two, 235 for this guy. That'll be item number 13. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful long chomp. And such a good size. Put that guy up there. Those two guys over there. All right, we're on item number 14 now. Also, if you guys haven't entered the giveaway yet, our question is right there. Thank you again to Tufel. Woo, right there. Um, what is your dream vacation? I will leave the answer, or leave the answer. I'm going to leave the link in the live chat here. I'm going to kind of like spam it a little bit. Head over to that video link. It was from this morning's YouTube video. And then leave your answer in the comments of that video. And at the end, at, at the end of tonight's live sale, I'm going to be announcing our giveaway winner for this Bagu tote bag. Hello TSW, how's it going? Thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, 14 is next. Okay, um, let's do the blue bag. Someone has a good eye. How did you notice the bag? It was like <laughs> popping up a little bit in the corner. Um, okay, so this one, the color of this bag is stunning. This is a Mark by Mark Jacobs. A drawstring kind of like hobo crossbody bucket bag and I love that it has silver hardware I feel like the blue and the silver just really complement each other and it has a drawstring um, around the top of the bag and then we have the top handle which is removable and then also does have the crossbody strap which is also removable and adjustable if you wanted to change up the length and then the interior of the bag is in the same bright colored blue, but in a monogram Marc Jacobs fabric lining. And it has one interior zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the other side. So two open pockets up here and then a zipper pocket down there. And the interior of this guy is actually really clean. don't think it has any head marks. Okay, yeah, no pen marks, but you can see there's a little bit of darkening. Do you see it around the, the pockets? 
that's from the glue that they use when they're sewing up the bag. So um, that just happens naturally over time um, to the lining because of the glue that they use when they make the bag. So, um, but other than that, like I feel like the bag is in such a really great shape. Um, there, oh, there's this. Okay, there's a little bit of something down there. Do you see it? It's like a slight discoloration on the bottom right there. But I don't see anything else on the bag. So it's pretty much just in that one spot. Oh, that thing is back. Jeez Louise. They just, like, multiply. <laughs> okay, so this is our blue mark by... Mark Jacobs drawstring, drawstring bucket crossbody bag with silver hardware, and this is gonna be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do seventy dollars for this one. The color on this is stunning. It's like this beautiful, bright, electric blue color. Ah, uh, look at that, stunning. Oh, Anne's calling it. Number 14 goes to Anne. Congratulations, Anne. Woo! Okay, up next. Oh, I'll do the pink one since you saw that one too. <laughs> With your eagle eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, Diana. <laughs> Anne looks like she called it first. Okay, 15 is going to be the pink bag. Uh, okay, this guy is Gorge. And it is this really pretty, this is a Tory Burch little satchel right here. And it's in this beautiful light pink color. It has a like antique brushed brass gold hardware. There's a front zipper pocket right here, nice and large. And then it has two open side pockets and the top handles, removable and adjustable crossbody strap. It has a little magnetic snap at the top. So it doesn't zip across the top. It does have the magnetic snap though. And then it has a zipper pocket in the back right there. And then it has three more pockets on the other side. The larger one has a little snap and then two open pockets down below. And the interior of this guy is in pretty great shape. Yeah, interior is nice and clean. There's no pen marks or anything inside of there. The bag is in beautiful condition. Hi, Rebecca. And this guy is going to be number 15. This is our uh, pink. It, it's in really good sh uh, shape, Tracy. Uh, pink Tory Birch. I can't spell. Satchel with antique brass hardware. All right, and this is going to be how much, Fadrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $95. Hi, Larissa. Thank you for joining us tonight. How's it going? Okay, so we're on item number 16 now. <laughs> and I tell myself that every day, but then I just end up buying more. <laughs> so I'm right there with you. It's really, really cute. The top handle too is a good length because it does still sit on your shoulder as well. So you can still carry it like that, which I like. I like it like usually like, Crossbody bags, the top handles are too short to carry on your shoulder as well. So I like to have that option, which is nice. Okay. Up next, I have... Oh, I have a yellow bag. This one is so cute. I <laughs> and we all have... Well, I think we all have that same exact problem about the bag situation. Is that the longest that it goes? Yes. Okay. Up next, I have, this is a super cute quilted yellow Michael Kors um, shoulder bag. I don't know if the, I guess you could wear it 
as a cross body, but it would be really high up. So like like our friend Brina said, this is like a French cross body length. I always like to think about that. I, I literally say that every single time now. So um, it has silver hardware, which is nice. I feel like that's a really cool complimentary color to go with this like almost like a marigold yellow. There is a back snap pocket right here. And then you open it up. We have a zipper pocket right there. And then two open pockets. And yeah, the inside is nice and clean. Um, right there. You can also turn this into a clutch if you wanted. You can just push in all the chain like that. And then now you just have a little clutch. So you can definitely wear this bag lots of different ways. And I'm really into bright colors right now, I'm telling you. But yeah, isn't this such a beautiful yellow color? Um, it's in pretty good shape. There is a little bit of rubbing on the corners, though. So just know that there is some rubbing. Hold on. Is it coming up? There's a little bit of rubbing on the corners. Nothing, like, too major or anything. But there are there is a little bit of um, rubbing on the corners. But the bag is still in great shape. A lot of life left. This is number 16. This is our yellow quilted Michael Kors leather convertible shoulder bag with silver hardware. And we're going to do this guy for just $45. That is going to be item number 16. There is a little bit of wear on the corners, but again, nothing major. It definitely still has a lot of life left, and the leather on this is super soft. And I love that you can wear it as like shoulder bag, kind of crossbody, or as a clutch. Actually, if you really wanted to carry it as a crossbody, you can attach like those, you know those circle rings? You put those through here, and then just attach a long crossbody, like a longer chain strap to it, and then there you're good to go. Oh, Brina's calling it. Number 16 it goes to Brina. Congratulations, Brina. This is a beautiful yellow. You're going to love it. Yay. All right. Up next, let us continue. We're going to go on to item number 17. Uh, oh, this is a cute one. You guys are going to like this. Okay. Up next, we have this super cute, juicy little key card coin wallet thing. Um, this is vintage, but is in such good condition. And this is that velour, the famous juicy velour. Um, just the side is velour, and then it's um, embroidered. And then in the middle, it's like this patent pink. And it's like, it says juicy. So, so cute. And then it has the patent around the trim. And then the back side is also in the patent as well. Um, you have, <laughs> what's so cute too is that it says juicy princess right there. Do you see that? It is so fun. And then it has a clear ID slot right here, which is in great shape. And then you have the little key ring right here. And then this guy um, opens up. And it has this really fun pink and green lining. Oh my gosh, that Bitcoin thing is back. Adrian. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Oh, good night, Terry. Right, it's a beautiful bubblegum pink color, and <laughs> too full. But there we go. Okay, so that's item number 17. This is our juicy pink velour and um, patent card key coin wallet with gold hardware. And this is going to be how much, Patreon? Okay, we're going to give this guy for $25. That's going to be item number 17. It's in great shape. I feel like the person that had this didn't even use it. Like, it's in really good condition. And, yeah. 
if you are a juicy princess. <laughs> Norma! <laughs> Hi, Norma! <laughs> How are you? Oh, yeah, what happened with Terry? I, did, oof, I probably didn't, I didn't get to read the rest of the chat from earlier, but congratulations to you, Norma. The juicy wallet is yours. All right, 18 is up next. Ah, uh, I didn't see that. I hope she feels better soon. Okay, so that's our little juicy baby. Number uh, 18 is up next. Okay, uh, let's do... Actually, hold on one second. I'm just going to grab my drink. I have it over here. Across the room. Okay. And maybe I can find those sunglasses that I had. Oh, no, that is not it. Okay, just kidding. I thought I was going to find my sunglasses that I had. I have this, um, I got a pink drink earlier, and it has kind of separated, which is gross. But we're just going to mix that back up. Also, I don't think I'll... Oh, Larissa, Vadrian is my virtual assistant in my ear. So, they help me with the pricing and setting out the invoices and the shipping and all that. Okay, perfect. Mindy. Oh! I'll do that next. Okay. Um, up next... I have, this is actually sold to, Anth it's a, this is a brand sold to Anthropology, but she also is like a separate brand all on her own. And for you guys tonight, I have a vintage, well not vintage, but this is one of the OG um, Claire Vivier fold over clutches. And it is so beautiful. She doesn't use this leather anymore. This is so soft. It feels like a lambskin. It's in the prettiest, like, mauve pink color. So, so nice. Um, it's a fold-over clutch, so you can definitely, like, open it up like this as well. But it's meant to be, like, folded over like this. We have the little um, Claire Vivier gold medallion right there. And this is how you know it's vintage, too. Because it says Vivier, and this is, like, the font that she used back then. Now, um, I think it says Claire V now. And the, the medallion is, like, smaller. So this is, like, the larger, like, older style that she did. And this is also, this predates the chambray fabric lining. This is actually just in the, um, it's, like, unlined. So it's just the underside suede of the leather. But it's nice and clean inside of there. And all of her bags are made here in California. Rebecca, I did have a couple of Kate Spades. Yeah, I have two Kate Spades still. Hold on, let me show you really quick. Actually, no, I have three. I have, um, this is the Kate Spade basket bag. This is navy, and this is like a, like a wicker. It's hard, and it's like a picnic basket. Then I also do have the Kate Spade. This is the phone crossbody bag in black pebbled leather and I have this guy right here this is the um, vintage leopard print Kate Spade shoulder bag and this is in a printed calf hair so this one is made in Italy and it's vintage and then these are the other these are the only other, or the these are the three Kate Spade items that I have left okay so back to this guy um, yeah it's in great shape and again, the leather is super duper soft. And I don't think there's like really any crazy wear on here at all. So this is item number 18. And this is our um, mauve leather Claire Vivier fold over clutch. And this is going to be how much, Vadrian? Um, 
Okay, we're going to do 65 for this guy. Elise is... <laughs> I do have some Rebecca Vinkoff and Coach, though. That is coming up. Um, I do have a Vintage Coach backpack. That is... Okay, let me... Okay, we're going to be on number 19 now. Um, let's see if I can find one of those. Do I have one out here? I know for sure I do have some Vintage Coach backpack, but... Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, sister of... Sister of a down... What color are you looking for? Because I do have a couple... I think I have a black and I have brown. So let me know which one you want, and I'll show that one. Oh, hi, Myra! How's it going? Oh, you guys, hi to my cousin, Myra. That's her right there. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for saying hi. Oh, Rebecca, that is no problem. Don't be sorry for being late. I was super late to today's live, too. Ooh, Anne, you gotta show me. Oh, no way, Mindy. I love that, um, is it like the embossed fat, like leather that looks like it's woven, but it's like embossed? Because I love that leather that she uses. Um, but, wait, hold on one second. Who was it again that wanted? Um, Rebecca, the vintage Kate Spade, that one is $50. And that's item number six, so... Just let me know if you're interested in that one. Again, it's fifty dollars, and it's item number six. Um, if you want it, just comment the uh, just comment mine and then number six, and um, it'll be yours. All right. So up next, we're on item number nineteen, and Okay, let me show you the brown one first. I think I have that one right here next to me. Yeah. This one, um, this one is in more worn condition than the black ones. I actually think I have two black ones. Um, but this one is the one that's in, like, that has the most wear. But this is a, our vintage coach backpack in brown leather. Yeah, the straps right there. It does have, like, this is a pen mark right here. Like, the pen, like, bled from the inside of the bag in outwards. So, this does have that mark right there. Um, I don't know if it'll come out if you do the dunk method. Uh, I would probably just, like, I would leave it as is. Because, honestly, it kind of looks like a birthmark, you know? Kind of like <laughs> Cindy Crawford beauty mark. Um, or you can dye it black or paint it another color. But... Um, or leave it as is, because I still think it's in great shape. So, it's a little drawstring right here when you open it up. The little drawstring. And then the interior just has one zipper pocket. And there are pen marks in the interior, so. And there's that big one on the in, in the interior that bled out. Oh, it's a day pack. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, this is the day pack. Oh, Shudiva, no. I wish Myra could come shopping with me, but she lives in Malaysia. So... <laughs> She lives in a whole different continent across the world. So this is number 19. This is our Coach Day Pack in British Tan. And this is how much feed Okay, we're going to leave this guy for just 55. I like it as is too, too full. I love a lived-in Coach look. Um. Oh, Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Before I forget... um. I just found out that I got your other package that you that that was sent to you. So, um, just to let you know, it came in. Um, let me actually, I'll get my let me grab my measuring tape really quick, sister of down, and I will let you know. Hold on one second, have that over here. Mm -hmm. All right, I am back. How much ink stains? 
I bought an LV key clay for super cheap. When I dye up with enough, I should use a dip dye or fabric paint. Ooh, I don't know either. What kind of um, what kind of clay is it? Like, what is it? Leather. Okay, so the bag dimensions are. This is seven by four by nine. So it is seven. For so those are the dimensions for the um for the backpack. Um, Rebecca, oh, are you Rebecca? Are you asking about the Kate Spade? What are the inks? Oh, they look like this. Is it coming out? That's what the ink stamps look like. I got one of those. Where's that thing that I bought? Oh, <laughs> hi, it's just zero. Yes, it is more comfy sitting on the floor for sure. I don't have to like run around. All right, sister of, sister of Adana's calling item number 19. Congratulations, sister. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Okay, um, and I think Rebecca, was it Rebecca that wanted uh, to see, or the dimensions for, here's the Kate Spade, right here, and it does have a little bit of rubbing and like fur loss, like hair loss on the corners. This one has the most. It's not too obvious because the print still shows, um, but the other corners are not as bad at all. I think that one was the worst. And there's the other one. This is like probably like the second worst. I don't think the other two corners have any fur loss though. Yeah. And then there is there 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 is um some fur loss around where the zipper is. But I think it's just because it folds up, but just from like friction, some of the fur is also a lot like coming off on around the zipper. But again, not obvious. Um, Sarah, I do have some Patricia Nash. I don't know if I have any totes. I, do I have any totes left? I might have a tote or two left. Um, oh, sorry. There's like some little pieces of paper inside, but it's just a little linty on the inside. Sorry about that. But the inside is nice and clean. It's in pretty good shape. There's a zipper pocket inside. And then for size reference, this is how big it is and I, I'll give you the actual dimensions in a second but if you want to like hold up the iPhone this is kind of like how big the phone is in comparison yeah too full it's hair on hide so it always it will always get a little like a couple little bald spots for sure um, hi blue eyed female how are you I'm doing well thank you Okay, the dimensions for this guy. Um, length is 10.5 by 4, 10, 5, 4, 9. Okay, so it is by 4 by 9. Okay, so those are the dimensions for you for that's for that um, for the Kate Spade, okay? All right, so we got the backpack down. Let's put that guy over there. Um, what is this? Oh, let's put this with this guy. So don't move it. All right, up next, we're on item number twenty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, blue-eyed female. I hope you feel better soon. Okay, up next. Um, mm. Okay, I know it's not a tote, but I do have this Patricia Nash. 
And then I will look for Patricia. Uh, look for the totes again, or for, for the totes in a little bit. I don't remember if I have any more though, because I think the one that I had sold. Oh, it is too full. I love feeling it like so soft. Okay, up next, this is our Patricia Nash right here, and it is beautiful. The detail on this is absolutely stunning. It has like all this really cool tooling. It has um, like this stitched embroidery kind of detail, and then it also has studs, and it's in this beautiful kind of like red oxblood kind of like leather. It's I don't know. It's really nice. I love all like the, like the built-in patinaing on it. There's the Patricia Nash logo stamped on the back. There's a pocket right here, and when you open up the top flap, there's a pocket in the front, and then when you get into the main compartment of the bag, there are two pockets down below, and then there's another zipper pocket in the back. And it does also come with like the Patricia Nash little card right inside of there. And I think this is in pretty good shape. Oh, it also does come... I guess uh, the person that bought this got it from like Lord & Taylor. So it also does come with a Lord & Taylor uh, gift receipt as well. Um, I don't think there are any pen marks on the interior. Okay. Yeah, there's no pen marks on the interior of, like, the main portion of the bag. But in this little pocket, it does have a little... Oh, just kidding. Never mind. I thought there was, like, a red stain, but it was, like, string from the stitching. So it's nothing. Just kidding. I thought there were stains inside of there. But, yeah, it's super clean otherwise then because, yeah, I thought there were those red marks. But... The cushion keeps falling out. Ooh, I don't know. I don't have the AirPod Pros. I just have the I have the threes. Um, I'm sure if you Google it though, gem drops, you'll be able to find something. Did I just again? It's almost. Like... Oh yeah, you're almost out of there then, gem drops. I feel I feel like by tomorrow you're gonna be like. Right, Diana. Okay, so, also the strap drop is great. The strap is adjustable as well. And then this is kind of like how it looks on body. It's beautiful. And this is going to be item number 20. And this is our um, red Patricia Nash slap uh, crossbody bag with tooled leather studs and brass hardware. And this is how much, Vaderian? All right, this one's gonna be eighty-five dollars. This one is in fantastic condition. And that is number twenty. I also noticed that like I kind of have a little bit of a sunburn on my face. I'm like still red. Oh Tracy's calling it! Congratulations, Tracy. Item number twenty is yours. Yay! I'm so excited, Tracy. This is a beautiful bag. You are going to love it. Okay. Up next, we're on 21. Now let's do... Oh, let's do this one. Okay. All right, up next is going to be 21. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I need to type out the number because if I don't type it out first, I'm going to type the wrong number and then it's going to be awful. Okay, up next, I have an Alexander Wang for you guys. This is the Alexander Wang um, Rock Rocky. Rocky, because this is the smaller one. This is the Rocky. Um, it is in this beautiful, okay, it's in a beautiful suede, or actually, I think it's a new book. Yeah, it's in a beautiful new book. 
I love that it has the matte black hardware. It is so cool. So it's matte black. And it also does have like a cool like chunky zipper. Which is fantastic. And then it has black hardware as well. Oh my gosh, Tufel, that's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's been crazy at the hospitals. Like, you, thank you so much for everything that you do working there. Because honestly, it is like tough out there. Most of my family is in the medical field. So yeah, I hear about all that crazy stuff that can happen. Agreed, Tufel. I love the black hardware too. Um, yeah, the bag is in pretty good condition. It does have, like, some rubbing on the corners, but nothing, like, too crazy, honestly. Like, it's not, like, anything, like, too noticeable. And this also does have, like, the little secret pocket here on the side. So you can open that up. You can put some stuff inside of there. And then the top. I love the way the, the Rocky opens because it kind of is, like, a half moon. So you can really get in there. The Rocco is kind of just like a, like a straight zip. So it's like way easier to get into here. And that just has one interior zipper pocket in the back. And then we have two pockets right here on the other side. And it just has black fabric lining. And the interior of this guy is in really, really great shape. Nice and clean. And the strap is adjustable slightly. It's not like super adjustable. You can probably like, um, you can make it maybe an inch shorter. I think this is the longest. This will be the longest that it goes. And this is going to be 21. Isn't it gorgeous, Linda? I love the texture of it too. It's like very unique. It's like the, it, it's like the washed lambskin that he always uses for these bags. Except it's in like new bug, which is cool. So this is our tan new book, um, Alexander Wang, I cannot spell, Rocky Satchel with matte black hardware. And the hardware is all in like really good condition. It doesn't have like any color loss or anything, like it's in really great shape, even like on the hardware here on the sides, like for the strap. It's an impeccable shape. Of course, blue-eyed female, we would love you to play. You know where all the best spots are. All right, and this one is going to be, uh, hold on. How much did I do the last Alexander Wang for? Let's do man, hold on. Badrian stepped away for a second, so of course my brain can't think. <laughs> so I have to like look up the last time that I had an Alexander Wayne bag. Rocco. Okay. Um, last time, okay, last time I sold it for $150, let us do $150 again for this guy. $150 for our Alexander Wang Rocky. That is item number 21. Shoot Diva, the giveaway for tonight is this guy right here. It's a Bagu canvas totes bag with a crossbody strap. Oh, Norma is calling item number 21. Congratulations, Norma. Woo! Yay! All right. 
So that was 21. Um, and also, if you guys haven't entered the giveaway, I'll leave you guys the link really quick for the giveaway. If you would like to enter, um, here is the link right there. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And at the end of tonight's life, I'll um, pick a winner. But congratulations again to Norma. The Alexander Wang bag is so cute. You are going to love it. Um, up next, we're going to go on to item number 22. Look how cute that is. Also, you guys, I got to meet Norma. She's literally the sweetest. Norma, I was so excited. <laughs> Yeah, I missed the ch I missed the chat about what happened at Twofold. Oh my gosh, that is horrible, Twofold. I cannot believe that. Ugh. I'm sorry to hear that. That is awful. No one should ever like that. Is nuts. Uh, I do have more SLGs, so um, let me see what I have. Up next, we're going to go on number 22. Let's see what I have. What's wrong, Adrian? Huh? What? Uh... Okay, up next... Up next, okay, so this one is really cool. This is, I think, my first time getting one of these from, um, this is a Kate Spade piece, okay? And uh, I think I've had, like, something like this in the past. Hold on, I just want to wipe something off. One of my wipes. <laughs> Peanuts dog toy. Have I ever told you guys the story about Peanuts dog toys? I think I have. I'm not going to bore you guys again with that. It's just one of my favorite stories. I literally tell everyone about it. Okay, yeah, the mark came right off. It's so weird. I only have, like, literally, like, one light in front of me. But I feel like it's almost better, but, like, also not as good. Okay, up next. Uh... Oh, yeah, if you guys could give the video a like, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys! Um, National Thrift Shop Day is coming up very soon. And uh, I'm going to try to do something fun on it. It's um, August 17th, is National Thrift Shop Day. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something, though. Because I always forget every year. Like, I always just, like, literally miss it. But this year, I'm going to try to plan something. Okay? So, just, like, keep a lookout. Um, I'll probably tell you guys in the lives once I figure it out. But there's also probably going to be, like, a video. So, up next, this is a Kate Spade organizer planner. And it's in a black soft all leather. And it just has the Kate Spade metal logo hardware right there. Um... The original owner, I guess, lost, like, the, like, the zipper pull part broke off. Um, so they attached, like, this really cool charm, which I kind of like, because it looks like one of those, like, um, bookmark things that you would have, like, in a regular planner. So I, I, I like it. Like, I feel like it's really cool. I feel like I would do something like that, too, for my planner thing if I had one like this. And the planner is literally, like, it's in really good shape inside. So when you open it up, you have a bunch of card slots right there that you can put your cards into. And you have the rings right here. Um, you just need to find out, like, whatever the size is. And you can buy, like, inserts for these at, like, uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or just, like, online. Um, it has, This is just, like, the cover paper thing. That's nothing. And then there's the little plastic piece. It does also come with, like, a little Kate Spade see-through ruler. And then it has, like, little to-do notes. Like the to-do note paper, um, birthday list, telephone list, and all that stuff. Um, it has all of like the paper stuff inside. 
So it it honestly, I think it's like brand new. I don't think um that's ever been used. It also does have the little uh, pen holder right there. The only thing is it doesn't have the original leather zipper pull, but it will come with this cool leather feather zipper pull, which I think is fantastic. Right, too full? It's so fun. Um, how many holes on the inside? Um, it has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six rings. And this is number 22. This is our black Kate Spade Safiano leather uh, planner. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for just $45. And it's it has all the inserts. It's pretty much in like new condition other than the missing original zipper pull. But again, you're going to get this really cool feather one. Brina, quick! That was fast, Brina. Congratulations! Brina knew she wanted it, and Brina got it. Congrats, Brina. That guy is going to you. All right, we're on item number 23 next. Oh, Linda, I, I definitely could. I will. I'll, I'll look for some. Um, okay, up next, oh, okay, okay, this one's cool, um, this is kind of, this is like, like a, it's a clutch, but you can use it kind of like a large wallet as well, and this guy is super duper cute, it's in fantastic, um, like new condition, and I actually had this piece before, um, but it, it was in a different, um, like leather combo it was a regular uh, pebbled leather and then it had like a croc embossed top flap this one is all in like a soft like a patent soffiano style leather it's really pretty like it's really shiny and like in the light like it glitters it's really cool it has like a really cool effect i like it and it has the um antique like gold um brushed hardware right there so you squeeze those two pieces together and the top flap opens up and then this is just like yeah the back is leather but then the interior is like in fabric right there so you have that pocket and this is definitely large enough to hold your cell phone it has the um little wristlet piece right here it is not removable so that just stays on and then the interior has uh looks like six built-in card slots in the back and then it just has a like a money pocket in the back and then it's just spacious and roomy in the interior right there phone fits in there beautifully you can even put one of your snacks in here right there and then it just zips up real nice and the wristlet it's really great. It's a great to go bag. He kind of always wanted. Oh, that's awesome, Brina! I'm glad I was able to get one for you then. That's perfect. No way, Brina! <laughs> really? Oh goodness. No way, blue-eyed female. I'm going to tell John. I'm like, John, do you want to be a travel agent? <laughs> he went to school for computers. Okay, so this is item number 23. This is our um, Coach Black Patent Safiano Leather um, Wristlet with brushed gold hardware. And again, this is in like new condition. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, this one's going to be 125 That's how much I sold the other one for. And this one is in, like, like new condition, just like the other one. These guys are pretty expensive. So, beautiful. That is item number 20. This is a great, like, evening bag, too. Definitely can go from day to night. Dress it up, dress it down. Move it all around. <laughs> the ones here lost.
oh my gosh, blue-eyed female. Ugh, I miss traveling. It's so crazy. Like, I never really traveled that much, like, until right before everything went like, into lockdown. I was, like, traveling so much, like, the, like, the year leading up to it. Like, I was, I, I was literally in the Philippines for, like, a fourth of the year in 2000, like, was it 2019? And then, like, whoops, like, right after we got back, it was, like, womp, womp, womp. And I was supposed to go back to the Philippines in March of 2020. My cousin was supposed to get married. It was going to be so fun. I was so sad that we didn't get to have her wedding over there in the Philippines. I was almost going to go to Japan, too, finally. I didn't get to go. All right, next up, we're on item number 23. Oh, my gosh, you guys have so much good stuff. Let me do another backpack. Let me do another backpack. Okay. Up next, I have this great Kate Spade. Oh, uh, agreed, too full. Ooh, yeah, that's a good question, M.E. Is it, like, can you, like, do it from home and just be, like, on the computer? Okay, up next, this is a normal size backpack. Oh, we're on 24. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Dawn. You're the best. See? I need you guys to guide me because <laughs> I'm a hot mess. I can't keep track of these numbers. Okay, 24. Thank you. Oh, Boots, were we in the Philippines at the same time? Pink. Oh, I have pink. Okay, pink item up next. All right. Uh, this is the Kate Spade backpack. It is nylon, and it has, like, this really cool quilting detail. And what's cool, too, is that this... Oh, this is also a newer style, too, okay? This is from, um, like, the newer collections. And it has... It actually has gunmetal hardware, which is cool, because Kate Spade has almost always been exclusively light gold, so that's like a nice touch. Uh, there's a front pocket right there. There's also a side zipper pocket right here that actually goes into the like the main compartment of the bag, and it's nice and roomy, so that way you don't have to like undo the bag and open it up and undo the drawstring or anything. You can just get into the main compartments of the bag uh, using the zipper. <gasps> Rebecca, do you? Have you ever been? Love the Philippines. It's so much fun. And the interior has a zipper pocket in the back. Right there. And then on the other side, it has just one open pocket right there. And this guy, like this backpack, is it's in like new condition. It's in really great shape. There's really like, there's nowhere anywhere on it. And the back straps are like nice and thick and they're like kind of cushioned. So they will sit really nicely on your shoulders and they won't like dig in too intensely, especially when you have a lot of stuff in here because it is a larger backpack and the nylon is nice, lightweight, but it's very sturdy. Right, Don? Okay, so that's uh, number 24. This is our black quilted nylon Kate Spade backpack with gunmetal hardware. And this guy is going to be how much, Vadrian? All right, we're going to do this guy for $85. Again, this is in like-new condition. And this is also from the newer Kate Spade collections. And that is number 24. And Bitcoin's back. Yay. But P.S. I do hear that it's the, right now is the time to invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> Norma, I remembered what you told me. Hmm? I blocked, I blocked it, but I think it takes a second. Ooh, yeah, blue-eyed female. Definitely put up the link in Discord. Put it, just put it in the regular chat. I would love to see. Oh my gosh, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm like I'm like five seven and I'm like tallish in the Philippines. So whenever I go, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's this is what it feels like to be like a regular size slash slightly average height. Like it's crazy. Elena, I am in California. In Southern California. Okay, we're on item number 25. I said I would do something pink, so... Uh, oh, I definitely don't mind blue-eyed female. Go for it. Definitely leave your link on there. Just put it in the regular chat. Okay, up next, this guy is so pretty. And... This is a Rebecca Minkoff satchel. It is so cute. It kind of reminds me of the Givenchy Antigone, right? Look how gorgeous. It has silver hardware, which is nice. I love... I feel like pink bags normally don't have silver hardware. It's usually always like a gold. But beautiful bag. It's a pink pebbled leather. There's these little zipper details on the sides, so that way you can like make the pockets, like these pockets bigger, but it has like a little magnetic snap at the top, and that's actually on both sides. It's a detail both sides share, so you have these little zipper details and the magnetic open pockets um, on the front and the back, which is fantastic. And then you have your little Kate's, or Kate Spade, Rebecca Binkoff, little luggage tag detail right there. Wait, did I say Kate Spade? This is Rebecca Minkoff. If I said Kate Spade, I apologize. Rebecca Minkoff, satchel. Um, there's a little Rebecca Minkoff uh, placard right there on the back. And then the interior of the bag looks like this. So it just has black fabric lining. Uh, has two open pockets on one side. And then on the other side, there's a zipper pocket and then a little card pocket right there. Um... Oh, the inside, that just needs to get vacuumed out. It's just a little dusty. But other than that, though, the bag is in pretty good shape. Um, there is some wear, though, on the underside of the handles. You can see some discoloration on the underside of the handles. But you can't really see them at all. Um, but let me see if there are any other marks on here really quick. Was there, Adrian? Where? I don't know. Oh, there's a little mark right here, too. There it is. That's what I was looking for. There's a little... Do you see, like, that... Sl like, there's a little mark right there, and there's a little mark right there as well. So there are, like, two little marks right there on that bottom corner, and there's just a little bit of discoloration on the other side of the handles. Oh, and there also... I think... Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's really going to show up on camera. It's not like super obvious, but there is a little bit of um, rubbing at the base of the handles right there and then right there. Can you guys see it? I think you can see a little bit more on that one. Do you see how it's like a little bit discolored right there? Yeah. So slight discoloration, but that, yeah, other than that though, like the bag is in pretty good shape. Okay. <sighs> Pink. <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff. You guys, I just talk too much, huh? The King Rebecca Minkoff satchel with silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Fadrian? Isn't it cute, Elena? Okay, we're just going to do this guy for just $45. Um, it does have a little bit of wear, but nothing super obvious when you're carrying it. And it has a so, so much life left. Also, Elena, are you... Is that a photo of Vampire Diaries? Because, I mean... I love Vampire Diaries. Oh, Brina called it. Number 25 goes to Brina. Woo! But, um, yeah. If anyone watched Vampire Diaries too, leave a comment <laughs> in the chat. Because I love Vampire Diaries. I actually read the books, which are very different. I didn't read all the books. I think I read maybe like four or five of the books. I think, yeah. I read a lot when I used to work at Borders. I would read everything. And if it was, like, in the top, like, whatever, like, if it was something popular, I'd probably, like, try to read, like, a couple of the books from the series. And that was definitely, like, always popular back in the day. 
Okay, so that was number 25. That one went to Brina again. Congratulations to Brina. Let's go to item number 26. I I am loving pink, you guys. I'm loving it too. Especially like I love the light pinks and I love like the raspberry pinks and like the mauvey pinks. So so good. Uh speaking of like a raspberry pink, I do have this guy that's really really cute. Uh, you're Stefan. Uh, that was the other question I was going to ask. <laughs> Are you Team Stefan or Team Damien? <laughs> but, yeah. <gasps> Brina, you used to go... Do you, have, do you have borders over there in New Zealand? Borders was literally the best. I I'm, I was so sad when they closed. <gasps> Dawn, I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's so sad. Okay, 26. Don, your team, Damien. Did you guys watch the originals? I also watched the originals. And I also do watch um, the one with the daughter of Klaus from the originals. And she's like in like a magical high school. What is that called? Because I watched that too. I watched all of them. I'm crazy. Also, P.S., if anyone is a Teen Wolf fan, they're, like, rebooting it. They're, like, going to make a new Teen Wolf. And I think they said Sarah Michelle Gellar is going to be on it or something. But, like, pretty much all of the old cast is going to be in it, too, which is so exciting. Oh, I miss Borders, too. It was so fun working there. I feel like that was one of my favorite jobs, working at Borders. It was so fun. But very expensive because... I, like, spent all my money on books. So much money on books. I think I almost book, bought a book every day that I worked. It's true. I was like, I deserve this book. <laughs> and we got, like, 40% off, so I was like, awesome. Yay, done! Yes! Right? Teen Wolf is so exciting. Man, I love that series. Okay, um... So I was talking about like liking pink and like kind of like that raspberry color too. This is like a raspberry um, red. How in the world do you have time? Rebecca, I'm really good at multitasking, especially with TV. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny. I don't know how I, yeah, I watch so much TV, but like I mostly listen to a lot of TV. I don't really look as much i like glance or whatever but i like to have like the tv in the background but i've gotten really good at paying attention to what's on the tv while i'm working like i can tell you the whole storyline of something as a former bookstore employee thank you for actually oh two full yeah of course <laughs> i bought two i think i kept borders like i kept them afloat for a while because i bought so many books i the library, that's not even all my books. I have so many more, and I just took them out of storage, and they're currently back in storage because I was like, well, I'm going to try to put, like, disperse them into the books, like, the bookcases in the house, and, like, they do not fit. There's no space. Yeah, that is why. I don't... How, how many books do you need in order to be, like, a library? Is it, like, a thousand books? Because if it is a thousand books, I definitely have a thousand books. So if you guys want a library card for my library, you can definitely have one. But I'm not lending out any books. You can just have the card. Twofold, that's so cool that your family had a bookstore. That's literally, like, my one of my dreams when I was younger. I wanted to have a bookstore. So bad. I told them, like, um, the jobs that I wanted when I was little ridiculous one of the first jobs that i wanted i told my mom I was like i wanted to be one of the gift wrappers at macy's like i wanted that to be my job to be to work at the gift wrapping counter during the holidays because i love dropping gifts that was like my one job that i wanted and the other one was to have a bookstore oh i don't really like the auto audio books too i can't get into it i can't i can't get into i can't get into that now Except Styles Dylan won't be in the. Oh <gasps> wait, are you serious? He's not gonna be in the Teen Wolf. That's so sad. Well, over a hundred years—that's crazy. Yeah, 
Yes, Don, I do. Both of my parents love books. So I have my my range of books is huge, but I have like so much like nonfiction, science fiction. Um, I also love like for a while I was really into like biographies and autobiographies. And then my dad, he has so many books on history, different religions, um, his, like, he loved, like, anything to do with, like, history. So, like, he has so many of those kinds of books and medical books. And then Mom, she's really into, like, romance novels. So it's just really funny. So we had a lot. We have a lot of romance novels and we have a lot of cookbooks. And then she also was into, like, the comedy, like, romantic comedy books as well. Which I was also into for some time. Like, the Shopaholic Sophie Kinsella series is, like, one of my favorites. If you guys have read that, that is really good. Odelia, I don't know if I could actually write a book. I can definitely read a book. <gasps> That's so cute, too full. Oh my gosh, wait, who worked at William Sonoma? That's a gift wrapper. Blue White Female, I worked for Pottery Barn, which is a William Sonoma company. I can't believe we both worked for William Sonoma. That's so cool. Okay, sorry. Back to the bag. This is a Coach Rexy bag, and it's in this red pebbled leather. And then it has, like, the embossed Coach right here pulled by Rexy, and it's in a rainbow. And what's even better is that it comes with this beautiful rainbow fabric crossbody strap, which in and of itself is, like, so fabulous. I think you can buy these on their own, and their straps are pretty expensive, um, I think they're, like, each over, like, $100, no matter what strap it is. Except for, like, the chain ones. I think those are a little cheaper. Um, and this is adjustable. The cross, or the bag itself has, it's, like, a double zip. So the back double, the back zip has two built-in card slots. And then the front one has one pocket. And then that just zips across. You can also remove the straps as well. So you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted. And yeah, so that is item number 26. Tupel, isn't it so cute? Sorry, Shoe Diva. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Tracy, I, I believe so. Hold on, let me check. Sorry, I went on a tangent. Okay, yeah. Phone fits in there beautifully. Okay. Uh, so this is our. Um, red leather, whoopsies, Coach Rexy crossbody bag with rainbow fabric strap with brass hardware. And this is how much, Vadrian? One. Oh, there is definitely room for snacks, too. All right, this one's 125. I feel like the Rexy collection is one of the, like, most popular Coach, like, um, collections as well. It's like the... Rexy stuff, and then, like, the Coach Rogue stuff, and then the Tea Rose, or Tea Flower, or whatever. The thrift stores here in town all know my name. <laughs> Tanya? Um, yeah, the th I feel like the thrift stores, they know me slash don't know me, so... I think, like, the Goodwills, a lot, they have, like, a really big turnover right now with employees, so I feel like not very many employees know me there. But, like, the smaller, like, mom and pop stores that I go to, I feel like they, they definitely know me. Like, at Veterans Thrift this week, I only went today, and then the, um, the gal that was helping me at the checkout, she's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever, but I know it's only been a week. And I was like, I know, I haven't been all week, this is the first time. And she's like, I know, I missed you, and I was like, I missed you too. Okay, so we're on item number 27. Oh, let me do one of the things that I got from um, today. Okay, hold on. You guys have so many goodies. Am I going to be able to show them all tonight? I don't even know. Ooh, what do I want to do? Okay, let me do this one. Okay. Um, since we are super into pink, this one is a good one. Sorry, not beer. <laughs> Oh, you're not a Rexy fan, Tanya? I love Rexy. I really want one of his, like, little skeleton charms. Those are so cute. Or, like, the one, like, the one with the hair, too. Like, the Rexy charm with the hair. Yes. Um, agreed, Tufel. 
Okay, up next, this is a Rebecca Minkoff camera bag, and it's a mini one. It's super duper cute. Here it is, and it's in this, um, I love the color combo. It's like a magenta pink, and then it has like this bright purple, and it's silver hardware. The strap is like, ah, uh, so cute, and then it has a little purple piece right there. So this guy opens, this is magnetic. So there's a little pocket right there, and then this pops open as well. Here's the inside. Let me see if my phone fits. I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, alas, it does not fit in there. It just fits kind of like that. Um, the mini, though, if you have the mini or the regular size, it will fit. Because this is almost in there. So just a little bit more. So if you have a regular size iPhone or the mini, it'll fit inside. Um, there's also two side zipper pockets that have these super fun pink tassels. And the strap is adjustable as well. And yeah, look how fun this is. Just like a fun little camera bag. Okay, this is number 24. Ooh, Tawny, you've been finding some really good glass recently. I've like been staring at your Instagram posts. So good. Uh, so this is our magenta and purple. Um, Rebecca Minkoff mini camera bag with silver hardware. And this is how much, Vadrian? This is a new style, too, which is so, so cute. And there's the bottom right there. And then here is the back. It just has the little Rebecca Minkoff placard on there, and it has little studs right there for the um, top flap. So cute. Oh, Melissa, this call, this one's calling your name then. What'd you see, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for $85, okay? $85 for the Rebecca Minkoff. That's item number 27. The bag is in pretty great shape. And, um, I mean, the color combo speaks for itself. It's so fun. It, I don't know why it reminds me of, like, Gem of the Holograms, Polly Pockets. Definitely, like, the 90s, you know? So cute. All right. Oh, Norma's calling number 27. Congratulations, Norma. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. 28 is up next. Twenty-eight. I'm really into mini bags, even if my phone doesn't fit. <laughs> I really want to get another one of the Loewe Puzzle Nano bags. It, it's so cute. I love my little yellow one, but I would love one in like a green or an orange or red or any color. Glass addictive and weighs too much. Oh my gosh, Eclair, yes. I'm addicted. You guys already know I'm addicted to crystal, like crystal stuff. Ugh, anything crystal, I probably want it. All right, 28. Ooh, okay. Um, I love American Leather Company bags, and they use just such nice leathers. They're so soft. So today, I got this one, and the color is really pretty. It's in this light blue, and... I mean, like, the, the bag's been used, and I, I don't, I'm not 100% certain if they do, like, a vegetable dye, but their, the, their leathers tend to, like, patina over time, so they get lighter and darker in some spots, so that definitely happened to this bag, and it's just, like, a light blue. You can see that it's, like, almost turning white in some spots, so you can see that there also on the back as well. And I think the back has, like, a little darker mark right there, which I think will come out. I think it's just, like, a little dirt. But the bag is really pretty. You can definitely keep it as is. Or this is a great bag to, like, re-dye if you wanted uh, to try a new color. You can definitely do that. It's really light. So you can pretty much dye it almost any color. Um, pink, red, green, maybe, like, not yellow. Unless you use, like, an acrylic paint. You can paint it any color if you use acrylic paint. So... Um, I mean, the world is your oyster with this one. The interior is super clean, which is another thing I really liked about it. Nice and clean. There's a zipper pocket in there and two open pockets. 
And this just has a great crossbody strap. It's adjustable. It's nice and long, but you can also make it shorter if you wanted. And it's the leather is like butter. It's super soft. And this guy is going to be number 28, our um, light blue American Leather Co. crossbody bag with silver hardware. Right? Silver hardware. No. Brass hardware. I lied. Brass hardware. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're just gonna do this. I think we're just gonna do 25. We're gonna do 25 for this guy. It does have, like, you know, has some of that, like, lived in look, but I love the look of it. But you can definitely, like, do this as a project. If you wanna practice dyeing something, you can. This is a great candidate. Okay, so that was number 28. I don't wanna get the bags mixed up. Okay. Um, oh, this guy actually goes over here. Ah, don't fall. Uh, 29 is up next. Oh, okay. I have a beautiful bag up next, and it is vintage. Such great condition. I think, like, I. I Honestly, it looks like almost brand new. Yeah, it looks brand new. This bag is so good. This is a vintage Coach um, Legacy crossbody bag. And it's in this beautiful bright red color. We have the Coach hang tag on it still. It's in such great shape. Like, all the corners are like pff, impeccable. Like, it's such good condition. And this is the Costa Rica leather, so it's super duper, like, the so nice. Like, the leather is amazing. Um, there's a great front pocket in here. This will fit your iPhone in that front pocket as well if you wanted to throw your phone inside of there. It does zip across the top, and the inside just has one interior zipper pocket inside of there. And then it's unlined, so this is just the suede of the bag. And it's beautiful beautiful bright red this is the small legacy crossbody bag so that's number 29 um small vintage coach legacy crossbody bag in red made in costa rica and this guy is gonna be how much for Adrian? okay we're gonna do this guy for 90 dollars but this guy is in like new condition. And it's probably older than I am. Look at that. Oh, Shoe Diva, call in number 29. Congratulations, Shoe Diva. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I'm so sorry, Tracy. Shoe Diva called it right before you. Okay. Shoe Diva, number 29. Congrats. All right, now we are on item number 30. We are making good progress tonight, you guys. All right. Linda, that's a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me, XOXO. Gossip Girl. <laughs> I gotta keep some mystique, right? <laughs> Alright, up next, um, I have for you guys a beautiful mulberry bag. I've, I've had this one before, but it was the one with like the tooled like floral design. Um, but this one is beautiful nonetheless. It has like all these like cool like details right here. Uh, what's great about this one, like this one doesn't come with a crossbody strap, but you can easily attach a crossbody strap to the D rings on the side of the bag and then have this as a crossbody. Can you just imagine like the Coach Rexy 
um, strap like the rainbow one on here, it would be fantastic. It would look so phenomenal. Actually, let me show you what it would look like. I think it would be so stinking cute. Like, look at how good it looks with this strap. Right? And then now you can wear it. Oh my gosh, of course, it's like all. Like, look how good that is. Yeah? So cute! I think that's really fun. Anyway, so you can attach your crossbody strap onto here. I suggest a cool, like, guitar strappy one like this. I think that, like, I think this kind of style lends itself to something like that. Something fun and eclectic. Um, front pockets, two front pockets. This is an older style, so this is unlined. Um, it has the little medallion right here, but this is an older one, so it doesn't have the number, but it has, um, I don't know if it's going to show up, but right here where it says Mulberry, it's embossed right there. You can see it right there. It says um, 1P. So it's um, that's like kind of like how they kind of like stamped them before they did the serial number underneath the medallion. Uh, but the interior, it does have like some dark marks and um, discoloration, but nothing crazy. And the leather is real nice. Sits nicely on your shoulder as well. Like I said, you can also attach the crossbody strap onto here. And Hi Shiro. Hi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Thank you, Shudiva. Um, Tracy, this one is a little bit heavier. The leather on this is super thick. Um, do I have my weighing thing right here? Hold on. Let me see if I can. I have my weighing scale thing. Um, hold on one second. Let me grab my weighing scale. I lost my little hanging one. I have like one of those, like it hit you you connect like the thing to it and then hang it, but that's okay. Okay, where is the bag? Thank you, oh, Shudiva, we'll send you that invoice in just a second. Yeah, it's a little, it's about two and a half pounds for the, um, for that bag. Okay, so this is our uh, brown pebbled leather mulberry shoulder bag with brass hardware. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, let's do, we're going to do 120, okay? We're going to do 120 for this guy. I think that's a good price. Um, I did get a, like a decent deal on this guy, so why not give you guys one too? But the color on this is beautiful. It's like that golden brown that I'm obsessed with. Okay. Up next, where was this one for? Hmm. Okay, we're on number 31 next. And let's do... Oh my gosh, I still have so many baggy bags. Okay. Let me just take these guys out of here. Up next, I have another really cool uh, long chomp bag. Oh, this is a cool case. 
<laughs> Not me looking at sunglass cases. Okay. I'm the type of person who would... Oh, Tanya, you uh, you would probably make that bag look amazing. I think if you dunk that bag, it would look so fantastic. Up next, I have... This is a... Uh, I think it's like a special edition long chomp. Tanya's like the leather... Like the bag dunking queen. She's an icon. She's a legend. And this is a long chomp like shoulder bag and it is so cool oh how did the bayes water turn out tanya i bet it turned out amazing <laughs> so this is a long chomp um this is like in a cotton fabric it's really really pretty and it has this red and blue striping on the sides and it has the top handle right here this is nice and long like this bag is big and it can hold a lot this is such like a cute grocery bag like can you just imagine going to like the farmer's market with this you throw in a baguette like and um a bo little bouquet of flowers inside of here Ooh, some sunflowers so nice and tall they'll stick out the top you know put it in your basket on the ride home on your bike it'll be beautiful so this has a smaller top handle but it also does have like the longer shoulder strap right here and it sits really nice on your shoulder don't look at my horrible tan but look how great that is like this is such a cute bag um it's in like new condition there's like no marks on the fabric at all um this guy also does come with just a little long chomp care booklet and that's pretty much it it doesn't have um any like pockets or anything on the inside and this is the um, the Charvet. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Charvet edition. And then this one's this guy's made in France. So it's a beautiful little long, or not little, but large long chomp. And this is a unique one. Like I feel I've never seen anyone carry this one before. But again, this is also a newer style. Okay. So this is our long chomp. Oh, good night, Shoe Diva. We'll send you that invoice. You don't worry about paying it tonight. Go to sleep. You just take care of it later when you're <laughs> when you wake up. Uh, long chomp, white, red, and blue uh, fabric. Shoulder bag with um, black leather trim and silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Vaderine? Yeah? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it online. Have, did you find it online? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there it is. It's called the Le Pliage. Oh, I can discover the collection? Oh, this is new. Okay. Why is there... Oh, it's sold out. Yeah. So I guess like that, um, he's like a special, he's like a artist or something and he created the design or something, but, um, yeah, Longchamp Charvet Editions, Le Pilliage Torchon. And I'm trying to see if I can find out. That's crazy. It's like literally sold out and like no one else has it for sale. I cannot find it for sale anywhere else.
Yeah, it's like sold out, sold out, sold out. Okay, um, hold on guys, sorry. I always like too into reading about this bag. The sound of your keyboard makes you sleepy. <laughs> Good night, Tufel, aka Hannah. Okay, I'm gonna do this guy for just $100. I'm gonna do $100 for this guy. Again, it's in like-do condition. It's special edition. It's like literally sold out everywhere. That is item number 31. And super duper cute. Our long chomp torsion bag. Okay, up next. Um, maybe we should end soon. What number should I go to tonight? What are we on? Um, should we go to 35 or 40? Adrian's saying 35. <laughs> Hi, JMC. Oh, JMC, no, I haven't heard back from anyone. Oh, if anyone has, um, we, I, we, we accidentally sent JMC's wallet to someone else. And if you received it, can you, um, let me know, please? <laughs> but we have no clue who we sent it to. Okay, forever. Okay, go to 40. Okay, 32 is up next. And up next, I have a... Okay, this is the mini um, Proenza schooler, or a Prince schooler, um, Philip Lim Pagley. And it is super duper cute. Oh my gosh, I'm on the slow internet. No wonder I'm like so behind. Connect to the fast internet. Oh, I'm connected. Okay. Up next, this is a the mini Pagley, and I love the color combo of this. This is in it's like a black and white, and then the sides and the bottom and the handles are in a smooth black leather, and then it has brushed silver hardware. Top handles, cross body strap, adjustable and removable. The little wings, iconic, of course. You squeeze this together, it pops up the top. And then the interior, it just has a zipper pocket inside of there. And then it's just lined in like a black fabric. And this guy is in great shape. Nice and clean. And the inside, the exterior is beautiful. Too, I want to keep it for sure. Okay, this is uh, number 32. This is our um, Philip Lim uh, black and white mini Pagley with brushed silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, this guy's gonna be 175. Again, it's in great shape. And that is item number 32. There she is. Yeah, I feel so bad, GMC. I'm so sorry. And then normally it doesn't happen. I feel like that's only ever happened like maybe like two other times, but that was like a long time ago. Okay, so that is. 32, 33 is up next. I get a message. Okay. Um, up next, we're on 34. Oh, Miss Donnie, how's it going? Oh, not 34, 33. 33. We're going to go to 40 tonight, you guys. So 33 is up next. I'm going to try to go a little faster, though, because I feel like everyone's... Getting tired, it's super late. All right, let me do a smaller item. And this one is, I believe this is like an organizer. So this is a beautiful coach, like a wristlet um, clutch organizer. It's in this really cool, like 
D is it D boss when it sticks out or M boss? I don't know. Um, Coach monogram. This is in a black leather, and then it has gunmetal colored hardware. It also does have a wristlet as well, which is removable. And my favorite part is this little top handle, which I think is so cute. So you do have this little top handle right here as well. And this is a double zip. So one side opens all the way, which is fantastic. It has a bunch of card slots right there. There's a little snap button change pocket. And then on the other side, um, it, I think we, well, I don't know if it's for your phone, but you can definitely fit your phone inside of there. It's gusseted, so it'll um, it'll expand to hold it, and then there's another pocket in the front. And here is my phone inside of there, so that fits in there beautifully, and it zips up like a dream. So gorgeous. That's it with a phone inside of it right there, and that's if you wanted to put your phone in there. Always like to have that option. And then the other side opens like this. So it has the gussets on the side so it doesn't open up completely, which is good so if you don't want anything to fall out, you know? Um, there is another zippered pocket on this side um, for the change. It's nice and clean. I feel like this has never been used. It looks brand new. There's no marks or anything inside. Lots of card slots right there and then another bill slot up at the top. And yeah, this guy, again, beautiful condition looks like new and a great size you can just remove this too if you wanted to use this as like a large wallet travel wallet this would be perfect evening bag whatever this is awesome oh thank you marjorie okay so this is number 33 this is our black coach Double zip um, wallet, um, embossed monogram with um, antique, no, uh, no, gunmetal, with gunmetal hardware. Um, double zip. All right, how much is this featuring? Okay, we'll do this one for 85. Again, this is like new, and these guys are expensive. Like this style wallet is pretty pricey. Um, that's number 33. Oh, Jocelyn's calling it. She's fast. Wow, congrats, Jocelyn. That one goes to you. Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry, Tracy. Jocelyn called that one real quick. I'm so glad you guys are liking the wallets, though. I'm like, that makes me really happy. I've been looking really hard for those guys. Okay, um, up next. Oh, I said I was going to... Do you guys want to see sunglasses tonight, or should I just wait till tomorrow? Maybe I should just wait till tomorrow. I don't know if tonight's like a sunglassy kind of night. All right, up next, this one is a dream. You guys already know how obsessed I am with Marc Jacobs. You have anything like this that's not... Um, he a cheer... Oh, I do not, unfortunately. I don't think I have any other um, wallets. I have... Um, I can show you a fossil wallet after, but... The only other wallet I have right now is this fossil wallet. It's just like a brown, but it's not a double zip like that, unfortunately. Okay, um, up next, I got a large Marc Jacobs collection stamp. Beautiful. This is in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bright red lambskin leather, quilted gold hardware, kiss lock at the top. You already know. It has the um, shoulder strap right here. This chain on this is so nice too. Beautiful and chunky. This sits really nicely on your shoulder. Top handles. Carry it like this in your arm. Just in your hand. There is a front zipper pocket right here. Paul. Alright, Pauline. We'll just show the sunglasses tomorrow. Because I don't even know where I put them. Okay. Um, 
the leather on this is beautiful. It has the little feetsies on the bottom right there. And our favorite, the kiss lock. This uh, iconic, right? And the interior is like that. It has just one zipper pocket right here. It has a little um, Marc Jacobs care booklet thing and some other little Marc Jacobs cards inside of there. And that's pretty much it though. It doesn't have like the original tags or anything. But the inside is super clean in really great shape. Right, Antonila? This bag is so, so good. This was his most, I think this was his most iconic bag, was um, the Coach Stam, or the Coach Stam, the Marc Jacobs Stam um, from his collection. This was made in Italy. This bag retailed for over $1,200. Like, this bag was very expensive. Um, and this is going to be item number 34. And, whoopsies. Thirty-four. This is our red quilted Mark Jacobs collection stamp with gold hardware, made in Italy. And how much is this one going to be made right? Okay. Um, Melissa, the interior is a. It's just a fabric interior. It's like a cotton fabric. Yeah, it's like a fabric. Oh, I definitely will. Okay, so this guy, um, Bruce is gonna do it for two fifty. That, yeah, two fifty is gonna be a deal for this one, and I mean that's like over a thousand dollars off the price of this bag. And this is the larger, uh, the larger size. And this beautiful, bright red quilted lambskin. Ah, so soft and beautiful. Here she is. Okay. Oh, really, Anton? I didn't even know uh, that Steve Ma or Aldo made one like this style when that when the bags came out. Okay, that was 34. We're almost there. 35 is up next. And I have this little guy. This is a another coach piece. This is another from the coach tea, tea rose. Tea flower <laughs> collection. And this is the cell phone bag. So it's a, this is like the lighter tan, like vanilla coach monogram canvas. And then it has the light tan leather uh, with, has like the built in pockets right there for the cards. We have the, the gold flower turn lock right here. And then we also do have the crossbody strap right here as well. So this opens up. I love that the interior is lined in this beautiful like maroony burgundy leather uh, and that is the whole thing like the whole thing is lined in that and the leather on the interior which is nice i feel like um not a lot of coach like the interior is like all lined in leather so that's like a nice touch but my cell phone does fit inside there really nicely even with the case and the pop socket it closes the turn lock it's like all in great like works really well um, card slots in the back. I'm sorry, only one wallet loves the doggy wallet. Oh my gosh, Marjorie, the little doggy wallet. Yeah, that one was so cute. So this is, um, up next. And the, this one, oh, also, it has the embossed printed snake, um, around the edges. I actually had the matching bag to this, like, a few weeks ago. Like, the crossbody flat bag. I had the matching one to this um, a few weeks ago, which was cool. Okay, uh, so this is 35. This is our Coach Vanilla Monogram Tan Leather and Snake Embossed Print Leather Phone 
crossbody bag with gold hardware and T Rose turn lock. Phone bag. And this one's how much feed rain? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for 95. And that is number 35. We got five more items to go. Okay, up next um, is number 36. And let's do this guy. Um, I feel like something bit my foot. Okay, you guys are going to love this one. I have for you tonight, uh, this is a Givenchy. This is the mini Pandora. It is so cute in the black wash lambskin. Brass hardware. This guy is in really great shape. I love this bag. You guys have seen this. I, I have like I have the one in brown. We have the crossbody strap right here. And this is a smaller pocket here in the front. It's just lined with a black cotton lining. And then here is the larger um, main compartments of the bag. This bag fits so much. I don't know like that's why they call it the Pandora, because like literally everything fits inside. Uh, there's also one zipper pocket inside the main portion of the bag. And so stinking cute. This is uh, so fun. And the leather is so soft. It does have a slight perfumey scent to it, though. Nothing crazy, but there is a slight like perfume scent in the interior. Uh, this is our black Givenchy mini Pandora with brass hardware. And how much is this, Vadrian? Okay. And... This is gonna be... Hold on. My typing is like... I cannot spell anything. Okay, we're gonna do this guy for four fifty. That is item number thirty six, and it's in great condition. Right, Jill? It's such a beautiful bag. Oh, Brit! Hey, Brit! I didn't even notice you in here. Congratulations! Sold to Brit. We're gonna be twinsies. I have the one in brown. I was thinking about dyeing mine black because it has like, it's the one that has like that little stain on the bottom, but that is a good one, Brit. Okay. That was number 36. 37 is up next. Oh, I have this guy. I totally forgot. Okay, this one is super duper fun. Oh, JMC, I'm, I hope someone finds it. I'm so sorry, like, about that whole situation. Okay, up next, we have... This is an Alexander Wang mini backpack. It's so stinking cute. This is in a black nylon with black leather trim. And then it has silver hardware. And the back straps, they actually like zip together to make like one strap. So you can have like just like one crossbody strap if you wanted. And then you can also move the straps and then make this into a crossbody bag. It has D-rings on either side. So this bag is like transformative. It has two side zipper, actually 
four. So they're each, there's a zipper here and then a zipper on top. So it has four side pockets. And then the front has a zipper that goes all the way around to actually expand the bag by about like two and a half inches. So you can increase the size of the bag as well, which I think is a really cool detail. And it has um, this little belted detail in the front. And then the interior has just one zippered pocket inside of there. The interior is a black um, nylon fabric lining. And it's like in great shape inside and out. Oh, there also is, I forgot to show you guys this. There's a little zipper pocket in the top flap as well. And yeah, fantastic. Lots of compartments, such a cute little size too. It's like a little mini backpack. And that's number 37. So this is the, wait, what was it, Vadrin? Okay, this is the uh, the Marty backpack in black nylon and leather with silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Peter? Okay, we're doing this guy for 125 our Alexander Wang Marty backpack in great shape. This backpack is so cute. I remember like this bag was like one of his eight bags, I feel like, it's his backpack. And I think like Forever 21 like made it also. Oh, Stacy, congratulations, Stacy. Woo! Yay! Alright, Stacy getting the backpack. 38 is up next. Oh, we're almost done. Okay. Up next, let's do... <laughs> oh, let's do this. Okay. You guys. Up next... This necklace is gorgeous. I think it's more like a choker, though. And you know, you guys know I've been like searching far and wide for jewelry for you guys because um, I'm really excited that you guys like jewelry, and I like to look at the jewelry. I just don't always know what I'm looking at, so I have to like do my research when I'm at the store, unless I like, know what it is. But this brand is called um, Uno de Fifty, and I think this is called the Half Moon necklace or something like that this necklace is still being sold on their website and it retails for four hundred and fifty dollars and it is silver and it has um these little pearls inside right here and these like little moon things like they they rotate which is really cool and so let me see if Oh my gosh, this actually like fits around my neck. Yeah, so looks like that. Um, let me see. It is called Okay, it's called the Double Moon Necklace. Um, Vadrian, what does it mean? I don't know say. Like what kind of metal? Uno de fifty double. I think it's silver plated, but hold on, let me just like um let me just check to make sure. Right, Linda? It's really, really pretty. Here's like a better look of like what it looks like, because I feel like I wasn't showing it to you guys like that well. But it's Uno Day 50. There's the necklace right there. Um, the Double Moon Necklace retails for $450. And 
Let's read the details really quickly. Uh, 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 uh. It's uh, 19 pearls set in a dual moon or semi-open orb shape. So it weighs 82 grams, handcrafted in Spain using a silver plated metal, metal alloy. Yes. So yeah, metal, silver plated metal alloy. Um, yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. So this is <laughs> number 38, Uno de 50, um, double moon, silver and pearl necklace. And this is gonna be how much for Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for 120 It's in great shape. All of the metal and stuff is in great condition. Um, the pearls are all good as well. Nice and shiny. Oh, boots, that's awesome! I wish I could wear necklaces, but I always feel like I'm choking. Do I look like a grandma? No, I think it's kind of cool. I'm not used to this. I feel like I'm choking. <laughs> like a fabulous grandma. I'm a fabulous grandma. Vaderhan. It's so cool though. Like when I saw it, I was like, that is an interesting piece. When I saw it like inside of the, um, inside of like the thing. What, Vaderin? Oh, the length is, it has the act, like has the actual um, thing. I think it has the actual measurements in here. No, it doesn't. Okay, let me measure it for you. Hold on one second. Um, I'll measure it from the end of the lobster claw to the last portion of like the chain that you can put it into. And it is 18 inches. So it's 18 inches, um, 18 inches long, the necklace. And Maria's calling item number 32. And that's the Pagley. Yay, congratulations, Maria. Woo! Congrats. That Pagley is gorgeous. All right. Okay. Okay, so we're on 39 now. You're welcome, Alicia. Oh, boy. Uno de 50. Joc oh, Jocelyn's calling number 38. Congratulations, Jocelyn. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay, I'm so glad. It. You really like it. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to have to put this inside of something, but I'll just set it there for now. So I know that it's there. All right. Um, all right. 39 is up next. Oh. Wait, do I want to do this one next? Okay. Or do I want to see this one for last? I'll save this one for last because this is like literally like one of my favorite things. Um, ooh, let's do this. Wait, did I show this case bit already? I think I did. Did I? No. Yes? No. I don't think I showed this one yet. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome, Gracias. Uh, Jocelyn. De nada. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Maria. I'm glad you... Yay. You know I try to give you guys the best prices, so that makes me happy. All right, uh, next item. This is a Kate Spade crossbody hobo. So we have the crossbody strap right here, adjustable and removable. And then we also do have the shoulder strap right here. 
you can carry it like this. It's so cute. I love all the details on here. So it's like this beautiful golden brown leather, but it also has like this woven braided black and white leather detail that goes around the bag right here. Uh, there also is a super fun tassel detail, also black and white. This is, um, it's on a little removable keychain-y thing, like a lobster claw. So you can actually remove that and put it on something else. So you can definitely um, put it on another bag, put it on your keys if you wanted. And there's a like great back zipper pocket right there. You can fit your phone inside. And then the interior is in this beautiful black and white stripe lining that matches the front black and white leather trim. And there's a zipper pocket in the back there, then two open pockets on the other side. This bag is in fantastic condition. Oh, there also is this uh, zipper that runs around the base perimeter of the bag. So you can unzip it and the bag will expand a couple inches. So you can see that there, it expands about two inches, I believe. So you can have the more flat look like this, or you can expand it and have more space on the interior. Uh, but the bag is beautiful. I love the color. This literally goes with everything. And this is number 38. This is our brown uh kate spade hobo crossbody bag with black and white braided leather details and um gold hardware what did you say Adrian? okay we're gonna do this guy for 70 dollars again this is in like new condition that is item number 39 You're doing <laughs> Antonila. I think I got into the zone on this one. I should I should be more in the zone for all the bags that I show, but sometimes I'm just like, woo. Okay, that was number 39. Okay, last bag of the evening. Okay, this one is my favorite bag. And this one is also brand new um, as well. And it's so cool. Okay, you guys ready? So up next, this is another Marc Jacobs collection piece. Um, this is from one of the last collections, I think, that he put out. Uh, glassy. No way. Aren't glassy babies, like, super rare and crazy expensive or something? I think I heard of that. Sounds familiar. Did I see it on TikTok? Anyway. Mark Jacobs, look, okay, I can't, it's not even showing up on camera because it's so, like, shiny, shimmery, splendid. Um, it is a super silver metallic mirrored Mark Jacobs collection crossbody flat bag. And it's like a croc embossed leather. It's so reflective and shiny, though. It is beautiful. Like, even in person, it's like, woo! It's so pretty. Hi, Veronica. Thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, hold on. I have to ask John to walk the dogs. Uh, where's John? Okay. Um, I love that, like, the under strap, like, the bottom, the under part of the strap is this beautiful blue. But then the best part was when you open this bag up. And it's also in, like, this bright cobalt blue leather. So it's lined in this beautiful bright leather. So pretty. Like, it's super fun inside and out. It's like, whoa. It's like, either way you do it, it's amazing. And it does also come with the original um, price tag. This was from Nordstrom. This bag retailed for $1,295. So very pricey um this was collection so it was made in italy and it is just stunning the crossbody strap also um it is it is it adjustable um it is very slightly adjustable it's probably only like two inches <laughs> you definitely will attract magpies with this bag You'll be attracting everything with this bag. But here it is, like the crossbody, like the size is perfect. Okay, uh, so this is our last item for the evening, item number 40. And this is our 
uh, metallic, silver, croc, embossed, Mark Jacobs collection, crossbody flat bag with bright blue interior leather lining, made in Italy. And this is gonna be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're doing this guy for 250. That is item number 40. Beautiful. And this is in this is like brand new. There's like not a mark on it. And it'll also come with that original um the tag from Nordstrom. I'm trying to remember what this was for. What was this for? Oh, I remember what this is for. No, that's not what it was for. Uh, yes, I can show. So let me leave you guys the link again for the giveaway before we um, select our winner. So I'm going to put that a couple times in the live chat. Go over there to that video. It was this morning's YouTube video. Uh, leave your answer in the comments. Our question is, what is your dream vacation? Good night, Linda. Thanks for joining us tonight. See you tomorrow. Oh, and um, if you guys have any questions about anything, um, let me know. Otherwise, you can send me an email or a DM after the live ends tonight. And we should have the invoices sent out to you within the next 15 minutes. Um, and if you're watching this video after the live is already over, the giveaway is only during the live. So if you would like to enter the giveaways, join us. Um, I have all the schedules. Uh, the oh, schedules. I have all the lives scheduled for the rest of the month. So if you just hit um, the video tab on my YouTube channel page, it should show you all of the scheduled lives for the coming month. Um, I will also have other lives. So right now it's two, like I've scheduled two lives every week and those are the for sure live times. And then I might pop in a third um, live during the weeks, but I will let you guys know. But also um, I'll like post it on Instagram or um, I'll let you guys know like in the uh, Discord chat. And what else is going to say? Um, oh, the new, the next live is tomorrow at 10 p.m. So that's Saturday night, 10 p.m. Pacific time. And let's um, select our winner now. Uh, if everyone uh, is ready. Where's my camera? Also, the bunny says goodnight. Isn't it so cute? Ah, it's so adorable. And also it's stuck to my camera. It's like literally the cutest little bag. Ugh, so fun. Can you just imagine this in like the furry shearling, like the white shearling? Oh, we used to have a bunny when we were little. We didn't name it though, because it wasn't our bunny. Like it was like my cousin's bunny. But then like, I don't know why we kept it, but it was like one of those really big bunnies, like those giant ones. It was huge. Okay, Antonila. I will check that out right after the live. All right, guys. We're going to be announcing our winner. Oh, Diana, I'm so sorry. I know the live ran late tonight, but thank you st for still being here and everyone else. All right, you guys. Our next uh, winner is going to be oh and also if the comment doesn't pertain to the question then um we're going to be going on to the next person okay okay and three two one oh honey sorry honey that was just a regular comment let's pick another one Oh, there we go. Kathy S. Kathy S. wants to go to the Grand Canyon. Congratulations, Kathy. I'm going to um, leave. I'm going to reply to your uh, comment right there. You have two days, 48 hours to reply to me with your um, shipping details. And we'll send you out your giveaway win, which is that uh, tote bag. All right. So congratulations to Kathy S. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, Grand Canyon. I actually went there. It's beautiful. I love the Grand Canyon. It was so much fun. But we're going to end um, 
the live now. Oh, is Marion calling number 39? Oh, yeah. Marion, congratulations. Um, number 39. It's yours. Congrats. That's the, that's the Kate Spade. All right. If anyone has any other questions about anything, let me know. Um, otherwise, we're going to end the live here. Again, we should have the invoices all sent out. Oh, Marion, that was a mistake. No worries, Marion. We should have the invoices sent out within the next um, 15 minutes or so. I have to go finish watering the plants. <laughs> so I'll see you guys again tomorrow, 10 p.m. Pacific time, Saturday night. New live sale. And yeah. All right. Good night, guys. I love you all so, so much. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Good night, Diana, Marion, Melissa, Marjorie, Fox, Veronica. Again, a big congratulations to our giveaway winner. That's Kathy S. Brina, good night. Jaggy, if you're there, good night as well. Tanya, Melissa, Marion, uh, Veronica, Diana, Dawn, uh, Antonila. I will read your message right after this. Trin, Maria, good night. Linda, the other Linda, Norma. Jocelyn, good night, guys. I love you all so much. I'll see you guys all later. All right, bye, adios.